What's up, guys? Welcome to Kind of Funny's XCU in <laughs> Review. That's right. We are ranking and reviewing every movie in the X-Men cinematic universe. We've been doing it for nine weeks now. A lot of X-Men movies. These things never stop. Yeah. They're relentless, as they say. And they're never going to be good. Or wait. Will, will they? they? We're going to find out today because we are reviewing. Did they rehearse this Logan. shit? The Ladies fuck? and gentlemen, I'm Tim Geddes. This is Andy Cortez. That is Kevin Coel over there. we got Greg Miller and Nick Scarpino. To my immediate left, mm -hmm. as they say, <laughs> as they say. That's, you're I'm you're immediate right. right. I yeah. want you to you're just You're immediate get right. No. Your immediate uh, left is Andy. Thursday, 9 a.m., you can get this show on youtube.com slash kind of funny. You or fucking you idiots. You never made a video? Yeah, come on, dude. Is it not camera, camera left? Come on, right here, Tim. That's where it's at. No, no, host to host right host here. Host to host, motherfuckers. Isn't stage left and like... Shut action? up, Kevin. <laughs> Thursdays at 9 a.m., you can get this video on youtube.com slash kind of funny, or you can get it as a podcast if you'd rather listen to us and not see all the visual shenanigans and gags that we got. Andy's going to put a fun edit here like it's party mode. I don't edit this. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just make a, podcast, let's just make a fun services. visual gag. Touch Kevin. So <laughs> touch four. Andy, touch him. Kind of funny there reviews. It is. God, look at, feel these biceps. Uh, flexing everything. Kind of funny Kevin's reviews. Kevin's got a body. <laughs> Where's it going? Where's it going, Greg? He's in there. Where is it going to do? Kevin's got a body. Like what? what like is one of those like? Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> that was like in disguise. They could like put its head into his chest. You're just so, look at how buff you are. You know what I mean? You're <laughs> you looking at me like, I love that. Look at how buff you are. Nick just goes. <laughs> <laughs> you are thick. T-H-I-C-C. -C, and I don't know. That's what the me. kids say. God damn. Again, uh, podcast services. You can get the show. Look up too. kind of funny reviews. Thank you very much for all your support. Both, both visually and orally. That's awesome. Close enough. Close enough. Audibly. Yeah. A U R A L L Y. It means through your ears. Greg. Oh, sorry. Yeah. As opposed to orally, which, which means through your Are mouth. they still using <laughs> Keebler elves in commercials? I hope I, not so. that I've known. <laughs> not that I've known. Yeah, I haven't seen them in a while. I, hope so. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of uh, network television, but uh, I do love the Keebler elves. Today we are reviewing Logan. Released on March 3rd, 2017. Just one year ago. Wow, <laughs> really? Yeah. That doesn't, doesn't feel, feel right. Like that doesn't feel real at all. Long time. Directed by James Mangold, uh, who we remember from directing The Wolverine, the Wolverine a couple movies ago when Logan went to Japan. Uh, a runtime of two hours and 17 minutes. That's right. I added a new thing here. I decided runtime is important it to is note important. for these movies. Mm -hmm. Should have known a long we time to, ago. Uh, do we have to re-record everything? Yeah, everything. Okay. We're going back to the beginning. MCU oh. and review and review. I'll do it. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> a budget of $127 million, which I was kind of shocked by. Not that much money. That's That actually seems kind of high for this to me. Really? Yeah. I mean, this, mo this movie is largely just people talking. But there was so a lot went. of practical effects of fucking things up. Yeah, no, it's true. Surprising. But I just feel like mm -hmm. this the, one of the one of the great parts about this movie was it didn't feel like it was a CG fest. Mm -hmm. It really did feel like it was just really good actors hashing out shit together on you know and, and just. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> She's You're like a that grandma that, that reached into her purse. Get a no, Werther's like, original there too. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a really old napkin yeah. that he's used. Don't many worry times. about what I'm doing. Don't worry about what okay, I'm doing. Sorry, the, limo sorry, the limousine alone was 120 million. Yeah, that's dude. where all the budget came from. 20, 20, they had three, three, three different, different builds of the limousine that they used. Uh, this trivia in, in different yeah, new trivia. half broke down and full Pretty broke much. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. but one was uh, built on top of a much more uh, off-road sportier car. That makes sense for, the, for that the last chase scenes uh, last and when chase they go scene. into the fence because they actually they did that. Yeah. And there's certain parts of it that look CG and it's not. It's like that shit is practical as fuck. Yeah, they that, put that real blades into so Logan or into <laughs> Hugh Jackman's hands. Because uh, there was this thing I watched an interview with uh, the director, and he was talking about how uh, it's in the future, but it's not that far in the future. And uh, 2029, 2029. And uh, so, like, looking at that, they're like, you know, we've seen so much cool, like, digital HUDs in front of people and, like, specifically Iron Man and the MCU kind of owned what that looks like mm -hmm. in the future. It's like, we want our future to look like the real future. Like the look real future. Boring yeah. It's a little yeah. bit different. It's, yeah, just, just a little yeah. bit different. <laughs> and LEDs and everywhere, but not really. Exactly. Yeah, uh, there was some so cool Wait, so, was so this cool. takes place six years after, after the... After Days of Future Past. Yeah. Of yeah. The, after the, the future that we see in Days of Future Past. Yeah. The most futuristic this gets is like what? hotels. Really hotels have TVs like, from today. They had really <laughs> nice TVs, like from yeah, twenty eighteen. Yeah. I was like, that's a current gen Samsung. Yeah. Well, what is weird about that though uh -huh. is so Professor X would be the only person that's really affected. I guess I guess Logan as well. <laughs> that is a weird by jump. what. That Logan, from the end of Days of Future Past to this yeah. movie, it's only been six years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he did and he say super old. Hugh Jackman said this is a different universe. No, it's not. 
I mean, that's the thing. They, they have said they, that. They, 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 they can say that. Yeah, they can say that all they want, but there's well, enough. We're doing a show called the XCU. This is in the yeah. cinematic There's enough evidence universe. to show that it is in the same yeah. universe. So it's like, like Caliban. But you I got know what I mean? Exactly. I, exactly. That's, Caliban that is in the, both Ladies movies. and gentlemen of the jury, I might just be a small town beauty lawyer. <laughs> uh, no, I took from it that his deteriorated state had less to do with age and more to do with the fact that the, the disease was just poisoned. Poison yeah, 100 yeah. Everything else. All of like, because you see all the scars and shit, like you get the feeling that all of his past is now catching up to him mm-hmm. and he's just deteriorating more and more. The Metal Gear Solid yeah. 4 theory. Plus I he's drinking that like a sense. motherfucker. But, but Professor X though, how does he go from that to that? To he has, I mean, years? it's a degenerative it's brain disorder. Dude. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, it, that... I can't tell That's you. how it happens. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm with Andy, like but yeah, right? when you okay. have those kind of things, it does like fall off a cliff pretty quick. Um, Interesting. But here's the thing. So I believe it's still in the same universe. Forget everything you know. Forget everything you know. Where, where's Magneto, you know? I feel like Dead. they should have called... Him. Why? Because he's why old would too. Xavier killed like everyone. everyone. He, he only Didn't killed he? everyone at the seven. Seven or several? Seven. I thought they said 70. They said seven. Seven? Okay. Seven? Yeah. It was just seven. And then they just shut down the school. Or you think the school is still going? Well, sure, that was like they I'm classified sure they, his brain as a weapon of yeah. mass destruction. After that, <laughs> that shit was done. Basketball boy. The fuck yeah, out. but like, and that's you know, what, and when I'm watching it, that's what it. I was thinking too. I'm just like Wolverine stab him in the fucking head. You know what I mean? I love yeah, Professor X. We all love Professor X. What are more years left in the sun, Wolverine? Let's just fucking shed all the dead weight. What I mean, kill him. It's, it's a mercy all kill. He has left. It's a mercy kill. There's this nothing. Is family this is all point. he has left. Him fucking screaming the f word at him, being old, yeah. pooping his pants. Really sad. Yeah. No way to live. No way no. to live. Now I tell. I'll, Andy I'll, twisted his ankle once, and I was like, "You want me to put you down?" <laughs> that's, that's what I like about this, right? <laughs> it's, 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 it's less <laughs> about <laughs> hey, who's got what power, and more about like what do you do with these tough choices, right? Obviously, this is not a mentor mentee relationship anymore. This is a father son relationship. Yeah. You catch up with them, and it's how do you take care of your ailing father mm-hmm. who is just happens to also have this horrible power that if you let if, if you and it's and it sucks because he can't afford the medication, he's in a bad spot, and he's got a and and he's forced to do this desperate thing, and that's how we start the story. Uber. I'm just saying they had shout out, desperation. Shout out to that uh, bridal party though, right? Shout out yeah. to that bridal party, man. And that one unnecessary <laughs> scene. Dude, it's not unnecessary. I love it because I mean, you yeah, see Logan just, just kind of look back and just, just kind of smile. smile. <laughs> it's like I'm just saying they should have found Gina. Magneto, pulled that metal out. He would have healed back up like normal. No more poisoning. Magneto was 100 percent dead. Why? Well, because even if he didn't die from the from Professor X, he would have died from the poisoning oh. of the water. I I don't think that was a poison. I think it just No, I thought it was like neutering the mutants. And yeah. I thought it was helping mutants, stopping them not from old ones. yeah stopping no, no, them from no. reproducing. It, it eradicated the all the mutants. That's why yeah, there's no that's mutants why left on, in this world. There's well, I mean, a, but a why would Wolverine still have powers and Xavier? Like it should have gotten rid of them then. I yeah, I thought it was that no, the, stu- it was the stuff to, in the food supply was like stopping them from breeding, yeah. it was, or at least not passing on the mutant genes. Yeah. I don't like that's what I talk about them. I, I might be I've wrong, been on the record for a long time. Here, yeah, where there are not that many mutants left. Yeah, we are. That is true, but it's it's because they say we haven't had a new mutant born in 25 years. Right, but what about all the other mutants that were? I the, think the that it killed thousands them. of other mutants that we saw in Cerebro. I hear I'm pretty sure they. Well, no, it hunt, seems like they were hunting mutants. them too. Yeah, because there was the with Caliban. They were like, "You used to hunt these." Yeah, you know? and the doctor like, was like, and the doctor stuff. that helps Logan was very much like, "Oh man, I haven't seen one of you in yeah. a long time." Like, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it was killing him because then, yeah, what, how would it the explain bet, how? I think they just pop- killed all the mutants. Uh, some, somehow, all the mutants got killed. I don't buy it. I think it was after Apocalypse when they were like, hey, these fucking muties have ruined everything. Let's murder them all. I'll be honest with you, though. All of them. Kind of agree with that. You yeah, know what I mean? No, yeah. It's like they ripped, As a normie, ripped half the what we, we decided you know? last time. Yeah. yeah. Kill them all. Yep. Unless Cold I have ball. cool mutant powers, in which case, hey, let me just in go around. That, that is interesting because like, I definitely think that the, the water was poison mall, but that doesn't no. explain why yeah. the three that we have are still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. You can g- I can give you Logan and Wolverine, or I'm sorry, I can give you Logan and Laura. Sure, okay, regenerative yeah. abilities, but yeah, Professor X, Calvin, like what are they eating and drinking that's not doing mm-hmm. it? I thought mm-hmm. it, I, I it thought wasn't water. It was established. Yeah, it was, it was food. corn syrup. It's in the corn syrup. I think it was, yeah, because he makes that. It, that's what's crazy about this movie is like these grand sweeping things are explained with like, very subtle dialogue. Yep. Yeah. We're like, very very subtle. Subtle. that one sentence where he's yeah. like, "Hey, I'm so and so. You knew my dad, and <laughs> I think uh, I killed him. He's like, yeah, I think you did too. Yeah, Who was his too. dad? His dad was one of the guys. One of the fucking scientists. It, it wasn't Striker. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Striker's no, the dad yeah. was one of the dudes we see in Apocalypse that uh, in the hallway when Wolverine goes through to escape. Mm. He's mm-hmm. like, "But I ever saw." And he's standing. That's how you know him. But yeah, but I love that line where he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I just want you to let you know, like." My 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 sole purpose was not necessarily to kill you guys. It was just to kind of control you guys and make sure that way we could like through all the food genetic ma- manipulation, basically weed out the mutant gene, which is a fucking really cool concept that <clears throat> I, I wish they would have explored so more. But I'm glad they didn't. I, I, well, yeah, because there's so I, many I, things I like, about this. I'm like, yeah. that's a really
Don't pull on yeah, me. But uh, rewatching the movie, like I did notice a lot more things because oh, yeah. like, when you watch it's, it the first time, you're not really paying attention to the when they're talking about food and shit. But uh, on the radio, there's like two times where there's transmissions about yep. it. And then when they go in what are the transmissions with like? the, the family, they're just they're talking, talking about there's the one dude that's like, the mutants all disappearing. And the um, with the, the, the with the water and stuff, the, the water being poisoned, there's no way that these aren't connected. And then it like... Those you know, are all yeah. things that I totally did not catch. Like, uh, that's why I've been radio silent this whole conversation. Because like, uh, that's stuff I didn't catch while I was watching the movie. But I love like, I love the corn syrup line. I love like, mm-hmm. I love how they're painting the picture of their future and how it's like super bleak and very... Uh, I don't know. Like, I mean, it just real. seems like normal. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's suddenly going from the X Men universe into like our normal world, where it's like there's no more mutants. No. There's weird cyborgs though. <sighs> yeah. Like, hell yeah. Well, I love that. I love that they yeah. brought. And again, another another nod to like let's just introduce it, and it's not a big deal. Yeah. Everyone's got augments. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I got some augments. That's that's yeah. the wave of that's the next thing that human beings are gonna have to deal with. And but it's not a big deal. Everyone yeah. just had, all all the mercs have them because they've lost limbs here and there, or they've had them like extracted and put on and stuff. And Boyd uh, uh, Holbrook. Just has that dope hand. So yeah. cool. So fucking cool. It reminded cool. me so cool. much of a like, fan of pain. It didn't do much, but That's though, what you know I like about yeah. it. Is it wasn't like, at yeah. some point you were thinking, oh, it's going to go out and crush steel. No, it was just, you could hang his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Had to like, the, the most he, that cool he did is his fingers went all the way back. Yeah, when he turned it on. Yeah, when he fucking. Which is cool. Yeah, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I like that the other guys, all the other mercs had like augments too, but they weren't necessarily like, it just, all this stuff was so subtly done. They were just like prosthetics almost like for help. Yeah, so that group was the Reavers. Like, Ex- who yes. are from the Ultimate Logan uh, storyline, and like, yeah, they do hunt mutants and stuff. Right. So, so that makes sense. But like, this movie wasn't just based off Old Man Logan; it was based off mm-hmm. a bunch of different X Men storylines, kind of mixed together, similar to like Civil I, War. I think that's cool, though. Me too. Because like, I feel like right. Old Man Logan's story really cool in the comics, not in this universe or <coughs> in like maybe someday. What's the difference in a nutshell? Uh, there's, I mean, the it's, big difference. There's no there's nutshell. Shoot, yeah. It's like is the Old Man yeah. Logan one where he has like he like gets swallowed by the Hulk and yeah. then, like busts out of his stomach. No. Oh. Which one's that? I mean, he fights the Hulks. Yeah. Doesn't he fight the Hulks? Isn't there like yeah. a whole oh, region? Yeah. The whole yes, by yes, the Hulk. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's what's cool too is uh, the West <laughs> Westchester like incident or whatever mm-hmm. in in that series is Mysterio yeah. or Spider Man causes a, a thing to in Wolverine's head or whatever and makes him think that everyone is back oh, nice. in the mansion. And he, he kills, kills everybody. And Wolverine That's awesome. kills like forty mutants, which starts a chain reaction where like all the villains essentially take over everything. But regionalized, uh, what, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 like yeah. somewhat like well, Red once, Skull controls one area, Hulk yeah. controls yeah. another area. Once they take over, they Other break states. it all out. Yeah. What, um, what's Hulk. weird is Hulk ends up like, just going crazy and becoming a bad guy and like having all of the West Coast. That sounds good. Like, like, really it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. 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 yeah, this one was good. It's but what up. Mysterio does in those comics is he like switches up whose bad guy is with who. Yeah. So nice. instead of having like Red Skull attack Captain America, he was like, no, 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 no you'd be better attacking this guy. Cool. And that's where like the genius. Look at Mysterio comes finally getting yeah. it together. Yeah. And yeah. Good for like, him. the Eden storyline and all yeah. that stuff. Like I'm sure it was <laughs> <Ray> also. Ray Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was also in the Six One Six universe. Six One Nine's Daredevil. The ultimate comics like really go into it. Utopia. Was in it the, Utopia? In the, in the comics yeah, it was Utopia. Yeah, where it was the dude with the uh, supernova in his head, right? But really, it ended up being not him. Doesn't matter. Reed Richards. Judge by, anyways, the yeah. uh, it's based on like Laura. It was Kitty Pride in the comics, but it's them trying to go out and like the mutants were eradicated by Sentinels. Like Sentinels <clears> came <throat> in and actually fucking killed ninety nine point nine percent of the mutants. Sure, and there was just a couple that were like clone things. One of them was Wolverine's clone, which was a boy, Jimmy Hudson. Jimmy um, Hudson. And they had to go find this Eden place where the mutants could like kind of live by themselves and grow a new a new future because the normal people were like fuck that we don't want to have anything to do with you. Again, um, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you know? a lot of sense. It's anyways, their fault. I, I thought they did a really good job kind of adapting the right things for this. Uh, movie. Real quick, before I continue, I have a question here that came up yesterday. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, real quick, a pr- uh, question from the press pool: Kevin Coelho representing kindoffunny.com. So uh, at some point they were like calling him Mr. Howlett, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, James Howlett is his name in the comics. Like. And then Paul's like, well, where does Logan come from? And I was like, you know what? I've never thought about that. It's not his middle name. I tried to look it up online quickly, and I didn't find anything right away. Origins went through. Yeah, Origins explained it. Did yeah. yeah. Does anybody how did remember? Explain? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember how explained it, but yeah, 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 how he got Logan, yeah. It, it, oh, um, it, was, it was something about the military, wasn't it? Was it? I don't think so. Can I clean your glasses? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't recall, but I do remember Origins having yeah. The that, he has James Howlett as his name when, when he's he was in the Civil dumb War. Fucking kid, yeah. Or yeah, like the dumb kid in the yeah. yeah, Jimmy. yeah. Well, I think Jimmy. in the comics, Logan was the name of like the, his step, like the, his actual father. That like, 
Oh, that's what it was. Killed. Was isn't yeah. the isn't the guy that's actually Sabretooth sad? Oh. Isn't his last name Logan? Yeah, yeah that's so what it was. A Logan. He's really a Logan, not a Howlett. The guy who bro- the guy who broke into the right, barn yeah. and got killed. He's like, yeah. "You're my son, and I'm gonna fucking tell you that at gunpoint." You're like, that. "But it's yeah. weird that he Maybe was coffee. like, all right, yeah, I'm coffee. gonna change my name because that was my dad." <laughs> uh, so this had a budget of 127 million, a box really office bright, of 619 Andy. million. We want R-rated movies. Give them to us. We love titties. Yeah. <laughs> we love the fucking fuck word. <laughs> it grossed over 619 million worldwide and is the fifth highest grossing R-rated film ever. Behind Deadpool, Matrix Reloaded, it, Terminator Two, and Deadpool Two. Damn it! It, it took it down, right? Wasn't it the high? Wasn't it one of the highest? And then it took it down. That's it's fucking well, good. It was the number three, and then it took it down. It and then it was down. the number four. Oh, I was and thinking then Deadpool about Two. Down, so. I, re- I read a trivia that said this was like when it came out was the widest distributed R-rated film ever. It was on like four thousand screens or something like that. And then it came out and beat widest it. Widest distributed. Oh, that's interesting. As far as just how many theaters yeah. it came out, because usually a lot of R-rated movies don't get that big. Are limited. Huh. Why does it matter the race of the people distributing it? Why would the widest distribution? Greg! <laughs> 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 Maybe you should clean the shit out of your ears. I try every day. <laughs> <laughs> they, look pretty, they look pretty clean. I get in there every day, but I do. Because yeah. I'm hard careful, of hearing, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, well, yeah, you stop when you feel the pressure. Yeah, but I get in there because I just, I have bad hearing. You have the no, no, that's things. I can't do that. That sounds too much. That sounds too much. And then you eat it for calcium. Oh no, that's oh, not what you do, really. Too far, no. man. Pretty, look how pretty. <laughs> too far, Andy. <laughs> he was proud of that one. You saw him say it. His like, like, eyes <laughs> literally sparkled when he said that. <laughs> like some anime ass <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Before we get to the plot, let's talk about this movie because it is fucking awesome. Oh, it's great. It's I the number one. Yeah, it's like But Andy, it's your first time watching. My first time, like, like fully watching it. He's not gonna like it. Um. I ju- I am blown away by this movie. Thank God. I this is so one of the scared. best movies I've ever seen. I think. Oh, wow. Like and and I I haven't felt this way since like The Dark Knight or Black Panther, where it didn't feel. It felt like they were trying to do something more than just superheroes with superpowers. Like this, it it was beautifully realized, and they weren't afraid to like to not have dialogue in some parts and just let the mood and mm-hmm. the setting and the music set the tone. Yeah, and it's that great shot so where well done, man. She finally takes over for driving him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like yeah. at dusk, and she just lets him kind of like slump over, and then she gets out and zhuzhes him over, and then starts driving. Just moments like that where like yeah. the dialogue doesn't need it. Like we're just, it's literally like almost a proverbial patching of, passing of the torch to this new Wolverine, mm-hmm. but she has to now take care the of her dad. New it's just like every, these, it's like every other movie has been, what is this superhero doing now, and how is he using his powers? Let's go to this superhero now and his powers. And this one just felt like such a complete movie, and I, Jeez, I mean, I'm excited to see where we would rank this on the MCU list. Oh, it like, would be, prep it would, the MCU would, list. We're doing that today too. I don't I think have really kids high. like that in the last one they said. But that's that's know. what I love so much about this, right? Is I thought to myself as I, when I finished, I was like, man, oh, like this is what they should do with all superhero movies. And I was like, no, 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 no this no. is it's just nice that we get this. Yeah, it, it's like the last three that came out that we that we've talked about are three distinctively different movies. We live in such a time where we can actually have all three of these make money. Like Deadpool is totally different than this. Mm-hmm. R-rated, but like a total Fun. satire on, yeah. on the whole genre. And then you have Days of Future Past that we talked about and Apocalypse that are just blockbuster mm-hmm. superhero movies. It's just a it's just really cool that they were able to what actually a time do to be what a what a glow up that uh Mangold had from the Wolverine to this. Right? Yeah. And like, what it just shows like when you have creative control and you can do what you want and just have a vision and, and stick to it. Like he had I was watching a ton of uh interviews he did and behind the scenes stuff and like even from a production standpoint, he was just like, We're going for Western, obviously, we're going for that vibe. He's like, But we we have these characters that people know. We have, we're going to introduce characters that people will understand just from from watching. You don't need a crazy backstory for for Caliban. They tell you everything you need to know about for him. Pierce. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, you can go in, you can just watch this movie and enjoy it. And the visuals, they're like, we wanted to make sure that every set piece we had, like every set they were in, like had a feel to it that isn't like anything you've seen in in the other movies. And the little the boundary or whatever the fuck they're at, I don't even know. Smelting factory. Mm-hmm. It just looks it's so awesome and it mm-hmm. gives such a vibe to it. Yeah. And uh, a cool production thing is that for every shot they did, they tried to have just natural lighting for for it all, mm-hmm. but they would only have one hard light. Mm-hmm. So like no matter what, we wanted to make sure that you saw the wrinkles in everyone's faces and you saw how harsh everything was yeah. using shadows. So it. like we did not have a beautifully set thing at any point. And also that's backed up by every environment they're in, right? Like it's no, it's it's a it's a strong production decision that the world they live in is this harsh desert, but the the like where they go find sanctuary is the forest, is this lush mm-hmm. green forest area that's that's just just over the horizon. Place you'd want to hang touch. out. In. 
Yeah, it's really beautiful. And like and like all all those t- touches are nice. We never see a huge city. There's never a giant city fight. Uh, don't even. insult Oklahoma City. All right. Uh, how dare you? Was that in Oklahoma the, the City? Uh, that was fun Oklahoma little city. a fun fact there. Oh. Um, they the most heavily green screened and CG shots they had to do was the casino scenes mm. because. Uh, Oklahoma City has a very strict rule that if you're under 21, you cannot be oh. in the oh. in the casino. Oh. And the girl and they couldn't get like they didn't have enough time to get the the legal shit for it, so they I just green like, screened her. In a your Honor, uh, oh. let me uh, present or they made new sets or Hugh whatever. Jackman. Hi, That's Your it. Honor. Oh, you gave me. Uh, right. well, Real quick, let her in here. Why don't you? <laughs> oh, I'm so a ship on the Barbie. Uh, you're doing yeah. lots of stuff there. We're, now we're a pirate. <laughs> and also, <laughs> Hugh Jackman's performance is just so good. Oh, yeah, he's fucking, fucking like, amazing. Christ. Yeah, and so again, much. You, you talk about James Mangle, but this is, it's so cool to see this team work together for so long that there's like there's just a level of like evolution and trust in the mm-hmm. actual characters that you just have. We, we I don't think we've seen this. Like I'll go out on a limb and say I don't think we've seen this depth of character in any other films. Period. Even the mm-hmm. MCU ones. Yeah. Like we just don't have that camaraderie that you can tell that Patrick Stewart and and Hugh Jackman have after how many films together? Eight. Right. Yeah. You know, it's it's. They I don't just, know about. That. I don't know if I fully agree with that because I feel like with so many of the movies, like I feel like this movie kind of gave us what we wanted for the first time. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like they were together a lot. Oh no, no I'm not saying really I'm not had. saying they've had that before. I'm saying the reason they're able to have that now is because of all the stuff that came before, right? Mm-hmm. And it's the same reason this one's such a powerful movie in the way of we know no coming in as Hugh Jackman's last time being Wolverine, this character, yeah, he's been for this being what, his ninth film? No, eighth yeah, ninth if you cut out Deadpool. So his ninth time around being Wolverine in some which is like so ridiculous to stop and say and think about when you think of anybody else in the superhero genre like what like maybe we're talking alfred from the four batman movies right <laughs> whereas like you that's probably really probably tony stark's been a lot oh of yeah yeah but now. i'm talking about outside of M- I'm, i mean i'm thinking I'd yes you're right bond yeah. is the i'm, ex- I'm just taking of. it away from the well, mcu is that's a completely though. different thing now well i think uh the record is in roger like Moore did like five or six but even with tony stark which i agree with and don't i'm never gonna take anything away from iron man right think about like just the physical toll it's been on Oh, yeah. Jackman, yeah, for, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, 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 like being completely and different. And even every when time. we see the like the weird clone one, yeah, like he still looks really good there. Yeah, yeah. It, and it, that's the thing, you know, of like I, I feel like this was such a uh, so many different lines intersecting where it was just a perfect timing of, you know, okay, James Mangold, you know how to, you, what you need to do. All right, here's how you can have it be R rated. All right, it's going to be his last one. All right, we're going to kill Wolverine in it. Like, there's so much power in that, and I, that's when I remember, you know, watching it the first time around in the theaters, like. Enjoying it, obviously, but it being so bittersweet and sad, not mm-hmm. only because of the story they're telling, but knowing that we were saying goodbye to Hugh Jackman, mm-hmm. right? And like, and it's funny then to go watch these. Man, a lot of these movies weren't that great. And <laughs> like, yeah. oh, I, didn't, I didn't like his choices here, but like, you get to this point where it's like, for everything else he's done through these, you know, nine films, like, hell, fuck, dude, he killed it. And I think I, that's. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, I don't think this movie could have been made or could have existed or been this good if it wasn't for the XCU just being so bad Absolutely. and like not built a good universe sure. where it's yep. like this great like they said maybe it's not connected to the actual universe but it is like this is the like feels like a goodbye to those X-Men where it's like we can do stuff like there's all the loose ends that were left to close up like we didn't care about because they hadn't built a good story and it seems like like this is a good way to this, be like this is right, their yeah. exit plan yeah, hey, yeah, they yeah. all died yeah. I see I disagree with that just a little bit because I think if, they, if all the films that had come before this were great then it would have been even more poignant watching these characters die but I yeah, think but that's the power of the X-Men universe is that it is uh, these are all uh, faded to begin with right the, these people these characters are all fated to die they're not fated to live happy lives they're always fighting this There's war never happy of prejudice against them and that is the power of and, and the, the that is at the heart of what X-Men represent so it's gonna be very fascinating to see them go from that sort of like um, tragedy of a world to then going over to the MCU where everything's kind of like we kind of we win more than we lose here and everything's kind of cool. We've got some problems, but ultimately, like we're pretty commonly accepted. It'll be really interesting to see how Disney works these guys in. Oh, well, I think they're gonna fucking knock it out of the park. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. so excited, especially because they have all of this to to learn from. I, I feel like then this is a, a conversation for a different time, but it it's so easy, especially now with the snap happening where. The world in MCU is no longer this like bright cherry thing. Like they just had to deal with, and we'll, we'll still have to see how they deal with that type of change in humanity. But I feel like all it takes is now mutants are starting to pop up, and that fear of mm-hmm. people that are different to change the vibe yeah. entirely. And that's the thing. I don't think that the X Men are always fated to lose. I think that in like, I mean, this is all based off of uh, like you know, um, like segregation and like uh, eventually. 
like things become normalized and we, we sure did beat learn. racism. Well, I mean, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, still but, I know, I know. It, but like it isn't like there's no like white bathrooms anymore. You know what I mean? So no, but I'm saying I, like, when I say it, when I say this is a tragedy, yeah. when I say that's a tragedy, yeah. I, I don't mean like don't tragedy. Like I, I mean more like. <laughs> Yeah. The, these characters are uh, up against a tremendous amount of adversity, right? Yeah. Less so than a Captain America. The Captain America character is designed to be like this inspirational thing for everyone around, mm -hmm. and he's you know gung ho and wins, and that's yeah. great. Iron Man is this billion like look at Iron Man, billionaire, yeah. uh, could do anything he wants, Boy makes, boy, makes himself into a superpower. Everyone loves him regardless of his failures. But then you have the X Men who are just these horribly flawed like characters who who are fighting against their own bodies. Like mm -hmm. their own, like they can't even control themselves. Yeah. And then when they go out the door, they're just inherently different than anyone around yeah. them. Like that is, there's a lot more depth and a lot more um, like challenging adversity built into those characters. Sure. And I think that's why like the X-Men resonate with a lot of people. Um, more so to me at least than a Captain America where I'm like okay cool he's a perfect human being yeah, you feel yeah, like absolutely. so much better than everyone around yeah, me like yeah. I'll never be that but I empathize yeah. with Wolverine I empathize more with these characters because I see these flaws in myself that I feel like d like separates me from other parts of humanity but the problem I think with that is for every Wolverine though there's a basketball boy and basketball for, every, boy. You know, for every basketball boy there's somebody that has very ambiguous like that I think that X-Men is inherently flawed once it gets past that initial Magneto Xavier dynamic. Mm -hmm. And I feel like whenever we see like the movies obviously struggle with that, even the good ones where there's just too much going on and there's too many mutants and the powers, there's not consistency and there's no type of understanding. Of but that's why I'm excited that like of like they're now going into uh, Disney where it's like, hey, man, that's going to be part of the MCU. And so far, MCU has done a good job kind of continuity. corralling everything and having yep. continuity and structure. So I'm hoping that we get that when we see X-Men in the future. What do they do with Quicksilver, though? Uh, I mean, get rid of the one that They call up Aaron Taylor Johnson like, sorry, dog. Yeah. <laughs> We're not bringing your ass back. Nobody Forget everything you. you knew. Great. Yeah. Hit me with that plot. <clears throat> Bet you didn't see that coming. Thank you very much. Well, also, you mentioned Black Panther, and I thought, I never freeze. I never freeze. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Nailed it, man. Really Thanks, good. Welcome <laughs> to the year 2029. Logan a.k.a. Wolverine, is sleeping in a car. <laughs> He's stinky. He's stinky, huh? We're in El Paso, Texas. We're down there. Ah, uh, yeah, we, uh, this is weird. I feel like we've talked so much about this movie already. Mm -hmm. You're nailing it so far. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. Well, no, it's just not... It's not Oh, cool. All right, that's good to know. Uh, so he's sleeping in the car, All and he right. wakes up, and guess what? Outside, there are some gangsters, or as they call them in there, chulos. No, no I'm not saying that right. Cholo. Nailed it. Chulos. Chulos, no. chulos he nailed is it cute. For our Midwestern. It's cuties. Ch oh, so we, we have really some chulos outside. We have outside. some cuties hanging out. We have some chulos <laughs> outside. Oh, chulos. <laughs> They're jacking up the car. Wolverine comes out, and he's like, guys, don't do this. You know, I just don't feel. I, does it, I feel like we've talked? We should just talk about the movie at this point. I don't know. This okay. one doesn't feel right. We talked about the movie already. All right, for well, so let's long. at least talk about this scene because it is fucking. There we awesome. go. Of let's course, just talk yeah. about our favorite what a scenes. Way to okay. start a movie. Just having him. First of all, those claws slowly coming out, being like, "Oh shit, yeah. you're not what you were." Well, 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 coming out, out all yeah. the way. Yeah, 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 so good. But then he beats the. Sh well, I mean, they start shooting him. They, they, they shoot him. All right, fine. We're back. We're back on track. They immediately shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. In the head with a shotgun. I like that we're right into the action here. Right. It comes out. Don't do this. They're chrome nut, uh, the lug, lug nuts. Nut. You're gonna strip him or whatever. They shoot him in the chest. Yeah. He falls back down and it takes longer for him to get up. And then yeah, he gets up. And he's like, seriously, don't do this. They start freaking. Out. And, these and these chulos, they just don't see it coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they come out. They come out. Puto. Slow. And they then, say yeah, puto a lot, right? You finally get the Wolverine fight. You've been waiting. Eight movies to see, yeah. right? Where the he's scene fucking. Where he like has the berserker moment where he's just like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he he stabs slashing. people in the fucking heads, cutting uh, off arms. Dude. It's awesome when he. I love the part when he's like, no, 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 not the car, not the car. And he runs to, get to absorb the bullets people are doing, and then he cuts off the dude's arm and it falls and shoots the car. And he's like, fuck. I love that Wolverine's default move is stab through head. Yeah. Dude, this. how Every, many like, shots in this percent oh, of the thing? Yeah. But, like that makes sense. Why would you stab someone in the torso? Why not in the fucking brain? And it, it, that's it's what he so would do. Rad. Fuck. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, I loved it. Obviously, the, yeah. like all all the scenes were so good. I enjoyed this movie so much more than I did the first time around. Really? And I, I loved it the first time, but like watching it now, I'm like, fuck, this really is a very close to perfect superhero film. It has a lot of issues. Some things are like way too heavy handed. I think, but the uh, the the fight scenes I thought were awesome. Like yeah. when I first watched, it, I was like, "Oh, there's way too many scenes of him just doing the same thing over and mm -hmm. over." But I like I really feel like they're all earned, and I feel like it's like every time I my biggest criticism of the my first viewing was 
There's too many fight scenes that are just him versus a bunch of dudes lobbing off limbs. Yeah. And there's just way too many. Okay, we're getting in a car to go to the next place. But watching it again now, I'm like, I was a fucking idiot. This mm-hmm. movie mm-hmm. is is different than the rest idiot. of them. And it's yeah. fucking yep. it did it. It went there and it like told I'll, a direct story. It's what we're always talking about when we when we usually when we compliment this, like Deadpool. It's a smaller story, right? And this is a small story, so right? Small. Yeah. This is so and like you're talking about like getting the car to go places. It's really we're in El Paso and I'm including the Mexico stuff there, right? Then you're in Oklahoma City and then you're up in North Dakota, really, yeah. right? With a few deviations yeah, along right, the way. There was with, the one but, stop Eric LaSalle family. and the family, yeah, of course. ER, what up? But also the, the do, idea. do the ER move. He, yeah, exactly. Like ER. Low, he does the low, like. Uh, do you know ER didn't low. run? It wasn't a big deal in Canada. That? So when I was talking to Jen about it, she's like, "Oh, Eric LaSalle." I'm like, "Yeah, from ER." Like, we talking about like fucking ER. Do you George know what Clooney. Do ER? I know the show. I, yeah, Noah the show. Wiley. Like, what was that move? Oh, in the opening. In the opening. In the opening. Yeah. I figured that's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He does like a low block, and then did you watch ER too? Yes, I watched. I watched ER because no, but I watch it because I was in. I would take. A uh, medical Edwards. terminology class at another high school. So, like, I would drive to another high school to take this, like, dual enrolled, like, fucking Why? medical terminology class. And every Friday, our teacher, Sal de Grazia, would What's show Sal? us, uh, we'd watch ER, like, every Friday. And it was awesome. And yeah. so, like, in I Spanish? got really into ER. No, just normal ER. He was, a white, he was a white dude. That. I love how you took a medical <laughs> terminology class. You're like, all right, today we're going to watch episode 14 <laughs> yeah. of ER. It was and great. It was just an ER class. No, we just kept watching it. Great like, show. it just came, like, I can't wait for the next episode. ER. I actually, no, you know what? It wasn't every Friday. I think it was every fucking day. <laughs> I think that's what it was. What yeah. a high school. Yeah, yeah, it, was awesome. high school. Yeah. it was awesome. It was cool. Eric LaSalle, man. Anyways, yeah. So, yeah, he kills all these dudes. Great. They're dead. We're back in the car. And guess what? Yeah, Wolvie, he's just, or Logan, as we'll call him now. He's just a, he's just an Uber driver. And so we get the montage of him driving around. We get the titties at the bridal so party. Cool. We get some assholes in their prom suits yelling USA as they drive past Border Patrol. Fucking Which pricks. is so fucking great. Yeah. Like, I love you that, would like that. That, that this movie has such great undertones of, it's a small story, but it has such big meaning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, with everything. You know, yeah. and then, like, the amount of Border Patrol stuff they got going on, the amount of just dealing with the fucking kids being treated shitty it's like yeah and like even the the women being abducted like forced to have these fucking monster kids and then killed les enfants terribles les enfants mm-hmm. terribles yeah, the thing about, like uh, this story i don't think had any like i don't think it was an incredible like fucking story with all these cool twists and turns i do like it was kind of like here's what it is and you're getting what you're gonna get yeah. and it was still like incredible <laughs> i mean i i feel like it did a good job with like the the big reveal which was that like all the Wolver- the X Men that you care about are dead, you know. Like I, I think that that yeah, was, sure. is that like the big reveal? reveal. Yeah, yeah, you don't think it's so? Very subtle. No, no. I think the it big reveal like, would be. And I mean, granted, oh, we're all comic book nerds, but yeah. When well, I was gonna say no, oh, Laura. Laura yeah, when right. when she walks out of there, like think of it, if you're watching that and you don't know anything about the character, like when she walks out and then rolls the head, and you're like, what? She goes, yeah. It brings out like, holy fuck. I, see, for me, I'm like, like that. Of course, it's a fucking Wolverine kid. Like no matter, even if you don't know, it's like that's. That's all that they're going to do is fucking have clones. Who does he fight in this movie? A fucking clone of himself. Sure, of course. Literally. God damn it. The thing is, though, that, and that's what I was going to say, like, the, well, the one thing that I think this movie really, really succeeds at doing is you guys met, you're like, when you when you first watch, you're like, yeah, they're in a car a lot. On the second viewing, I was like, I'm actually more interested in them in the car because mm-hmm. that's when the characters actually get to mm-hmm. talk. Yeah, yeah. It's and like video games. that dynamic mm-hmm. between Patrick Stewart and Wolverine and Patrick Stewart having one more thing to teach him, which is that, like, hey, you know, you, you're a dad like you're a dad you need to be a dad to this person like you need to show this person how to live and like be in her life um just like i was in your life and how we had this this like this dynamic relationship that was largely like us fighting but look at what we mean to each other and you can be that for this girl now it was so fucking cool and it's done so subtly over well not really subtly but it's done over the course of those car rides where he's like trying to get through to logan one more time even though yeah. he, doesn't, he clearly doesn't have his power well i also love that professor x only besides the seizures only uses his powers once in once. the movie and it's on the a, horses yeah. just to herd horses well he also uses it before to communicate with like laura. he figures out that laura exists oh, and he, right. but he's I think like I, by the liberty I, statue i get the sense he doesn't have a mastery of his powers anymore though. well no like it's because he's taking he's taking the pills him. yeah, yeah. They're and that's he stopped taking them and that's when he has the the stroke in the uh, the big building. Yeah. But I think that like he starts taking what it, but they haven't kicked in when he's <sighs> what the, the pills. Horses. Yeah, the, there's something specific. The the pills stop the seizure pills. Stop the seizures. No, they keep the seizures from happening, and then the injection of whatever it's it is the stops the seizures. Yeah. Mm. Not that this matters for anything. Just, yeah. uh, there's two different medications yeah, yeah. we're working the, with. The here. casino scene is one of the most intense yeah. like Holy thing, shit. and so well thought out and. 
like just having Laura also in the hotel room, yeah. like like and she knows what's happening and it's yeah. like all right, we're teaming Prepping up now. We're, yeah, stuff. That's so fucking but good. Man. Him walking through the hall and just murdering these people that like have guns and will murder him the, yeah. the, given the, the chance. The scene of the guy like, like just oh, slicing yeah, 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 his yeah, eyes yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then getting a fucking thing through the skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But we're not there yet. Instead we're in a graveyard <laughs> so and this I don't know either. are we? I don't know anymore what we're doing. Well, let's do the let's okay. scenes. No, okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, I like the plot. Okay, then let's do the plot. Let's do well, the I mean, plot. it's up to you guys. It's fine. It's fuck the show. It's time for the people in the Fucking fell apart. All unraveled right here. It's all dead. I I loved the the First introduction of Patrick Stewart when he comes in, when Wolverine comes in to talk to him, and it's just like he's like saying the, the radio waves. Yeah. They just set so perfectly. Yeah. It's like wow, seeing from James McAvoy to Patrick Stewart throughout all these movies to where we're at there. So it's fucking like, sad, fuck man. Which is interesting. Giving Patrick Stewart the ability to curse here makes him so much. You're like, oh, I can actually see James McAvoy in yes, him finally. Totally. Where I've, it's always been that disconnect with the prequels, if you will, of James McAvoy being like, yeah, groovy baby, I want to have sex and I'm gonna be cool. And then you get to Patrick Stewart, who isn't lame. He's awesome but he's just not the same guy. And I know we're still filling in those gaps, obviously, to get us there. And like uh, Apocalypse ends with him bald in the suit and mm -hmm. the chair and stuff, which I still think is a weird choice. But it was like, whatever, cool. Like, I see where we're going. But this was like such a cool kickback to like, oh, he's more like McAvoy now. Yeah, definitely love that. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't know what to do without the plot. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> we're at the graveyard the and it's raining. <laughs> Guess what? It's just something and Logan's drinking. And then Gabrielle comes over. You know her from Orange is the New Black. And she's like, Chulo, I need your help. I got this kid. And he's like, fuck off, lady. And she's like, you're the Wolverine. He's like, fuck off, lady. And he gets in his car. And the woman comes back and she's like, who was that? And he's like, some crazy lady. Don't worry about it. Get in the fucking car. Puts the lady in the car. Still got the shotgun shot. The shot on the side. Buckshot. Uh, drops these people off, uh, goes to pick up medication, or goes to a doctor after this, uh, goes to the hospital, walks over there and gives them the money or whatever, and then the guy gives him pills, and then there's another guy watch, watching across the way, and then he comes and he gets into the limo, and he sits down in the limo, and then the other guy comes and gets in the back of the limo, and it's Pierce, and he's fucking cool. I he's love Boyd so Holbrook. Cool. And I, I, you know, Where is he from? He's from Narcos. Andy. What is that? Oh. Uh, it's, a show on, uh, it's a show on Netflix that chronicles uh, the Medellin cartel, the rise and their okay. follow-up of uh, Pablo Is that Escobar. all he's done? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with his actor, That's but I love him. Like he's him. great. Yeah. He's yeah, phenomenal. He plays an American DEA agent that has to go down to Colombia to uh, to ferret out, um, basically deal with the situation down there as Pablo Escobar. Does he have that most... dope accent? No. I don't know. I is, don't there think he has that. is there something about people that dye their hair like they try to bleach it, but it doesn't fully bleach, so it kind of becomes like that. Zach Morris, that's, that dirty that, blonde. That, like, it but it's like it's like a yellow. But it's not even. Yeah, it looks yeah, yeah, like it almost does. kind of like an orange, mm. and, and it, it it gives me the vibe that like he just doesn't take care of himself. Yeah. You know, really? Right. Oh, I think he, this guy's getting laid. He's taking care of him. Oh, he's yeah. awesome. Oh, no, he's yeah. getting, that that he's getting, he's getting laid, but I just yeah. don't know if he's inside I don't know if he's showering. No, he's showering. He's on top of this. He's fucking all over it. My only critique is that I'm sad they used him in this because I think he would have made a great gambit. Like I think he actually oh, needs he's to be a bigger here, part though. of it's the universe. It's not too late, you know. Yeah, who the hell it's knows fair, when yeah. they bring it over and reboot? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> but I yeah. love that he is just this slightly off, one note character the entire. At no point does he ever freak out about anything. He's like, "Guess I'll go kill him myself." And you're like, "That's psychotic." There's there's like, one you're moment crazy he, yells that he, he breaks yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, uh, when the grenade when when they're when they're in the. Uh, it's in the very th beginning when Laura's inside the the place and she comes out and the guy gets his head yeah. bobbed off or whatever. And he's like, don't you shoot. can see like, the fear. He falls yeah, don't back shoot. Yeah. and like he starts to hide back behind the people. And I'm yeah. like, well, he's not Fuck. stupid. He's it's good. so he's, good. He's like yeah, the he, fodder. Let, let the fucking idiots get out there and get killed. I'm gonna figure this out. I feel like he does that multiple times where he's like, I'm gonna just inch back and let these guys die before I die, which makes sense and is smart. You can see the fear. Yeah, yeah. I thought he the, did a great job. The, respect. the limo conversation that's happening here where, right. where he's talking to, to Logan, it, it introduces one of my favorite aspects of this movie, which is that they I'm are celebrities. Yeah. The X-Men are, they have this lineage that the public knows about. They're now almost a legend, but they are real. But like they are celebrities to these people and yeah. Wolverine in particular is obviously like one of the most well-known ones and it's just the like kind of cockiness and like the like I'm a big fan of you. It's like you can tell he really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also I'm ready to kill you. I've I'm, killed you know, all I've yeah. killed half of your friends. Yeah. yeah. Kind of thing. But Fucking, you're it's cool. just so, yeah. so cool. And we see it later with the comics right. and with, with everything. I think it's so cool that they introduced the comics as like, yeah. hey, after these crazy things happen, people started writing comics and they're all full of exaggerations and stuff, but like like they've made them fucking 
Um, it's very much like from Unbreakable, where the comics were, you know, uh, Mr. Glass's idea was the idea. The comics were the evolution. They were our, they were our mythology, but they were based in at least some point in you know truth and real world yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I, I love. I forgot the exact thing that that Logan, Logan says, says, but he's like, you know, it's like it's like half the shit didn't even happen. Half the shit didn't it happen. Did, didn't the ten percent like did. It didn't happen like that. It's like oh, that that's so cool. And then he goes on. I was watching a video that uh, a, like a conspiracy theory breakdown thing of like going into the. Who's writing the comics? And Logan all stuff. knocked down the towers. Because mm-hmm. Logan makes a Jesus uh, <laughs> adamantium <laughs> can't melt steel beams. <laughs> he, he makes a, a reference to uh, whoever wrote it is just like some uh, asshole in spandex or whatever. Um, do you guys? I missed that? that part. It's during the same speech. Like sure. He goes through and he kind of gets mm-hmm. cut off. Um, and it's cool because anytime they they cut something off, it's usually when they're about to like reveal a lot of stuff, like they did with the seven X, and it cuts off before they say X Men. Um, but it's implied that it's Cyclops. Oh, really? That mm. Cyclops, after everything goes bad, huh. kind of goes off and. Makes I try. I tried to pause it and get, get a look at the because they have the credits in the thing, but it mm. like the blocking the bar of Amazon was blocking what it was. And like, you know, okay. Yeah, and it's like there's really not too much to support that, but there's just enough because like mm. him saying asshole in spandex, it's like who else would he be talking? No, that's about? That's interesting. Yeah. And it's like it is a cool idea that you know, after the X Men X Men folds and what is Scott gonna do for Cyclops money? Like fuck it, I'm gonna be I'm gonna make money off of this. Well, well not I mean, only that, but he hides those hidden meanings. Though, right. right. It's a way. Yeah. Of, it's a way of and, him sort of like having this underground railroad for mutants to get up to this safe haven which mm-hmm. is really really a cool concept and they play with it also because Wolverine's like this is bullshit yeah. and then he's like well, is it so bullshit cool. mm-hmm. when, they, when they get to the actual tower he's like fuck maybe I'm wrong about this yeah. anyways like, the conversation in the car Pierce reveals that yeah he's after a lady who's after something else and if she comes to talk to him hit me up I'm a big fan see you later I got a metal arm Logan's like oh, God. Uh, Logan drives down to Mexico where of course uh, I think he said you know chrome dome or baldy or whatever he, Pierce says something we're like what and then we go down to Mexico and yeah he's living with Caliban there who can't be in the sun he's drinking beers out of this fridge even though Caliban won't even let him open the fucking beer you know what I mean dick uh, and he goes back and then we got this like old smelting factory this old smelting pot in there Patrick Stewart rolling around in his chair doing the commercials as you were saying mm-hmm. bumping into him and he's just, he says something funny when he bumps into him like out of my way let me yeah. pass sir or something yeah. like that yeah <laughs> But yeah, we got to give him medication. He's having the seizures. He's having all the shit. He's yelling. He's cursing. He's doing all this stuff. It's a heartbreaking scene <sighs> to see Professor yeah. lost to dementia like this. But after he gets some of the pills in him, he comes back for a second. How long has he been gone? Where are we? And it's not that he didn't know Logan. He always eventually knows him. He just didn't recognize him or something like that. Whatever. Back out there. Professor Ca- X lost uh, 23 pounds for the role. Wow. Nice. All, all the scenes where we see him being carried by Hugh Jackman, like it's not surprising, but it's actually Hugh Jackman carrying him. Yeah. Uh, inside, we talk to Calban a little bit more, get some information. Calban lays out some of the problems that Logan's having here, of course. And you can tell that something's wrong. He smells the death on him. He's 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 sick. All this other stuff. Is that uh, where he like calls him out for being an alcoholic? I'm and, shoving it yeah. all together okay. in the morning is but when like, he does it. But. I feel like that was a really really good scene. Yeah, great we sense. didn't know Calban. I'd never seen Apocalypse. Not that that helped at all. But it was like, man, these people have a relationship. Like it very much is like. Hey, we've adopted this guy and we're taking care of him. You're the guy who's making all the money. You need to make sure like shit's working out and like there's clearly shit wrong. You don't want to talk about it. Let me put it all out there and see what you get back, you know? Well, I love yeah. too, and this is a little bit later, but him calling but out the guy uh, that like Wolverine like got the wrong stuff and then yeah. later it's implied that it's like it's because he's not able Can't to even see. fucking see yeah. it. Yeah. And it's like, God, that's yeah. and he gets and then again, not a big deal, gets by bi- gets the bifocals. Oh yeah. my that God. still has it's the receipt so, on them. Yeah. 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 Clearly from a Walgreens now. or whatever. Oh, yeah. And there's yeah. that sarcastic rock is like the it, Professor X like those make you look younger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I also love just shout out to Stephen Merchant, right? I don't remember ever seeing Stephen Merchant in a dramatic role like this and he just nails it. He just is this character. And it's so well done. And you're like, I want to know more about that Caliban yeah. character. And he's just taken from you. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Uh, Wolverine. Yeah. We have these conversations there. There's stuff. It's just ibuprofen that they got. Not even the right stuff. God, I assume. So upsetting. Uh, Jen and I had a conversation about this where she's like, ibuprofen wouldn't help. And I'm like, I think that's because he couldn't read the label. But then I'm also not sure if they're just fucking with him because he no, gave the pills. I, and yeah. It seemed to help. He but was it really? Yeah. I thought he switched. I thought he was too. trying to test whether or not Wolverine was going. So we got gotcha. ibuprofen yeah. bottle instead. Of the I couldn't. Uh, that, I, that I was like, I understood the reference that. Yeah. He needs. He can't read the label. OK, cool. But I wasn't sure what actually had happened. Uh, uh, he gets another job. Goes out. Drives driving around uh, ends up over at the Gabrielle's house again woman from the orange is new black there's a girl out there playing ball uh, she, the girl she, they don't have I'm not gonna help you blah, blah, blah leave me get another ride uh, breaks the window 
uh, the lady comes out. She's yelling. Wolverine's real mean to her. Calls her fat. Not cool, Wolverine. And then like they go into the hotel room to talk a little bit. Uh, in there, we're given the fact that hey, here's all this money. It's twenty thousand dollars for right now. Take us to these coordinates in North Dakota. Uh, you can get the, another thirty thousand when you get there. We've probably already buried the lead here that Wolverine's been looking at a boat. His big fucking grand plan is to take a boat Some with. Seeker. I mean, that perfect. makes sense. He wants to not hurt people with. Uh that's why he's got to just go shink to his head I mean, and just be done with it. What do you think right? they're going to do when they get out there, man? Shink, and then he jumps in the water, Throw sinks the right water. to the bottom, and just yeah. dies forever. Wow, damn, that's harsh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I understand, though. Yeah. That, that, this was the only part that kind of I didn't feel worked too well, where suddenly he was just all about Gabriella. Like, he... I don't think he was all about it. He was just it. like, he was annoyed by her and like, get the fuck away from me. And then the lady comes asking for the rent or whatever. No, she was complaining about the work. Or, or yeah, compla- right? yeah, complaining or whatever. And then suddenly it was like, get your fucking fat ass back in there. Now he was like. Well, that, wasn't that like, after he just tur- she had made him the offer of the money where he was contemplating it? I just feel like he turned uh, way too quick. Like, I feel like that accelerated <laughs> the, the I feel like yeah, the yeah. money, yeah. him uh, wanting okay. to get Xavier out okay. and then having that conversation about like yeah. with uh, Caliban, like, yo, we're kind of fucked. We need yeah. to figure this out. Yeah, I, so see, I, I just feel like this is, this is how Wolverine reacts to that. Sure, yeah. Okay. Extreme Over yeah. It yeah. doesn't work out very well for anyone. <laughs> True. So he goes in there. This all happens. He's going to think about it. He takes the money and he leaves. He goes back. This is when we have more conversations with Caliban. I think the, the ones we've already kind of yeah. covered, uh, setting up how bad everything is, how really bad it is. So um, bad. And then... Uh, He's like, I'm going to go away for a little while. No, well, we also buried the fact here. Like This is when uh, Professor X, before the, going to Gabrielle, was talking about the Statue of Liberty. Liberty statue, yeah. And Logan, just like us, jumps to that. That was a long time ago, Charles. When, and you're like, well, wait, with the timeline, he wouldn't remember that at all. And it turns out he's not talking about Forget the Statue of Liberty. Only Wolverine would remember that. And it is true. He's talking about Statue of Liberty where they're all staying at the fucking the hotel. hotel. He, Wolverine, like I said, left. He's thinking about it. And next morning he wakes up. He's like, I'm going to fucking do it. I'll see all you punks later. I'm going to go do this. Bye. We he, see the Wolverine sword. We do. Yeah. Uh, well, we already yeah. seen this in the establishing shots of the smelting factory. Right. The sword yeah. from the Wolverine is there, which is a dope little thing. I like that a lot. Should have taken it with him. I'll uh, forget everything you know. Uh, we drive the car back over there. We get to the Statue of Liberty uh, uh, motel. Door's been kicked in. Gabrielle's dead. Oh, my God. Logan goes to open up where the money was, and there's a phone there now. He it plays a video there. It start right. Do we play it right away? No, I think he plays it later when he's in the car with Xavier. But isn't that yeah. after it, it uh, dies he looks somewhere? At the t- he looks at the text. And it says, "Oh, it was like, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly." And she's, and she's like, "It's like, too late, hurry! They're almost here." And also, she had set it up that it was her getting uh, Laura away from her boyfriend. By the way, mm-hmm. um, wait, did, so he doesn't watch part of it here? Not yet. No, he watches know. it when he's in the the limo, and then it dies. Then he has to go get a mm-hmm. phone a charger. Oh, okay, okay. And watches the rest of this amazingly produced video. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, iMovie, especially in 2029, and everybody's got a YouTube channel. This is the one critique we had. I remember when. Yeah. We it's not this, as egregious as I remember it. Yeah. It's pretty egregious. It was I as egregious as I remember, but I thought it was I, fine. I felt like, like I gave it the credit. Because it was more the fact of like the doctors having like personal conversations, and she's like at a window like yeah, this filming, there. and everybody's just Wait, like all the shots were. Not from here. They were from like right here. And but it was still, still like, like she's very clearly dead. in places she's not supposed There's to no be way in the this mic advanced lab. Yeah. yeah. You know, everyone's like, is she filming us? And then you've been doing this for months. Why not, Why? Why did that never see the light of day on the mass media? She has media? a Adobe premiere. You know. Like, you know, these Wolverine kids are being Wolverine scoots tortured. on back to Mexico. Uh, he gets there, and Cal Ben's me like, what the fuck? What's going on? He's like, yeah, I was all foobar, and blah, 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 blah. And then the trunk's open, and like, wait, what the hell? And then Cal Ben goes in there and finds the bag, and he's sniffing around at the ball and the, the thing, and he's like, what's all this? And he's like, what's it? What the fuck? What's going on? Oh, uh, no, it's the girl. Oh, jeez. And then, like, uh, Professor X is rolling around out there. He's out now. He's excited. People are around. He's re- Reading minds and shit That's already. People, mutant. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He's excited to have another mutant. And earlier he was talking to Logan. He was just like, "There's mutants. Like, I, I'm feeling mutants out there." Yeah, I feel like, apparently speak Spanish not very well. Mm-hmm. Well, so his I brain's think, gone. I think the reason it. he stopped taking the pills was to try to communicate with the girl. Yeah, and I think that in the mind it doesn't matter. Well, he still speaks Spanish out loud, and God bless him because he said a couple than me. words. No, you're actually better than him. Am I? Yeah. He was not very good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he rolls out with Laura. He's, He's not like there. Mystique. Yeah, she language. comes over and steals her bag and her ball back from Logan. They go inside. She's eating cornflakes. A lot of cornflakes here. A lot of cornflakes. Mm. Cornflakes. Cornflakes. Good. I, I want, want me some cornflakes. Yeah, I, I, like, corn I just want to give a shout out to this young actress who does a fucking great job. So good. She's amazing. Somehow yeah. keeps, somehow holds the scene with Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart every time she's in there. And it when she, really majority without saying anything. Yeah. When she starts screaming in like Spanish, 
Yeah. Oh man, awesome. that's good. Crazy it's like, good. Like what you speak, and she's yeah. like, "See, like yeah, yeah." yeah. Like, Stop. <laughs> like, All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> So, yay, that's happening. It's a train rolling by. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Then more rolling by. Guess what? No, it's the bad guys. It's, it's Pierce and his team. Oh, no. Pierce it's gets true, there. True. He rolls up it's and he's true. just like, mm, Logan, like, you know, you lied to me. You didn't tell me. You, I said to call me. You call me if you found him and they found you. You didn't say anything. He's like, mm, no, I don't like this one. Well, first off, didn't Boyd, didn't, didn't he show up first and then they knock him out? And he's like, go take him out of the yeah. sticks. That, yeah. That's a great plan. Pierce shows up by himself. Caliban, yeah. who can't exist in the sun, who's like, oh, God, a gun. He's like, take this killer out to the fucking sticks. Just drop Why? him off. That didn't go well. Logan yeah. gets ready Caliban. to fight Pierce. Yeah, uh, Laura throws a pipe at his head and knocks him out. Yeah, like you said, Caliban's going to go dump him. Of course, that goes po- terribly. The whole team's also rolling just, up. Wolverine should have, like, when is he going to learn? Someone comes at you, fucking stab him in the head. Like the guy's down there, I like, like just stabbing out in this movie. He's no, he, head. Yeah, I don't know why he gave Pierce any chances. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just, this guy's clearly going to stir shit, and he's the leader of this whole organization. Stabbing. The but fuck yeah, head. while they were dumping him, he was trying to get ready to leave. It doesn't work out. No, you know what I mean? So yeah, they they roll up. The bad guys all roll up now with Pierce, and they got Caliban in the back somewhere. Uh, everybody's in the car at this point. And Logan's driving around like a crazy person, but can't escape. And so then it's just like we got to go fight people or whatever. It was just, it was just Professor X and Logan in the car. Yeah, uh, Laura's still inside. I love the scene though. Are we to the place? Are we to the part where he he tries to bust through the, the chain link fence? But like so many other things in Wolverine's life, it just does not work. I don't think we're I, there I think yet. That's after once they all get, that's when Laura yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but like we, we get the next scene, which is fucking one of the best scenes in the movies, where they they send the start, guards into the house yeah. to take down Laura, and they all like creep yeah. up on Laura but with their big cups. She's just eating cereal. She keeps just eating, eating yeah. cereal, and then you hear. A brrr, and stuff, and then she comes no, out and the rolls the head. fucking head. The awesome. head roll, man, <laughs> so good, so <laughs> so brutal. And then Pierce, like you're what saying, I'm trying to talk her down. I'm like, that's hey, all you hey. needed. Yeah. That's all you needed to yeah, know yeah, yeah. who she is, what she's about, and how fucking badass yeah. she is. Yeah. So yeah, then it pops off. Then it just pops off off there. Laura's fucking killing people, tearing people apart, being awesome. Eventually, yeah, Lo- Logan gets up. He's fucking fighting people, Claw being awesome. Foot. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah that's the reveal for, for people. Did question. they do put her through the same experiment they put Wolverine through? We saw. We saw her surgery going on yeah. through the clips. It looked different. It looked like they were installing stuff. So. Okay, so they just put the the claws in her. She didn't have an adamantium. I I frame, don't know. Right? I don't. It wasn't clear. But um, what doesn't make sense to me is like comic what? book X twenty three has a adamantium adamant skeleton. Yeah, they what? did say that she had adamantium because then later, you, like at some point, I'm pretty sure it's Wolverine references to her. Like you had the same stuff in you that I did. But I yeah. thought he meant the claws. I, it's no, got to be her. It's, it's got to be her whole thing. Like, yeah. They were doing those surgically. It looked like they were attaching them to to the like arms. I can't imagine them like surgically attaching plates. And certainly that wouldn't work as well. Well, I think surgically also, you'd have to just attach the claws because he doesn't have the, she doesn't have bone claws, right? I'm sorry mm-hmm. to interrupt you. Are we in the science with Kevin? I don't know. Who knows? And I love that you're caressing me while you interrupt me. It's science, even... science, science, science with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Are you guys not worried what's going to happen as she grows? Because if the adamantium's all over her bones, I'm not oh. guys, like that's like there's no way those <laughs> bones can grow, but they're gonna want to try. I can't imagine yeah, that's, that's not gonna painless. hurt. Yeah, that's really gonna hurt. Yeah. Maybe she I has to think, stay that size forever. I'm I don't sure think she has feeling. the adamantium everywhere. Do you I think, think it's if she, just the claws. Her body if she grows uh, uh, a little bit bigger, she can't do those hurricanranas anymore that she does every fucking second. No, she's I definitely. I don't know who love. taught her how to fight. By the way, but they she's a bad motherfucker. Well, I mean, it's clear. No, there it is. It was. It was the. What was transgen? The name of the company? Transigen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They trained. Alkali Transigen, Transigen, Transigen yeah. was their name. Yeah, yeah. Just weird. We, we see oh, the vials from... Mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. Well, in, in the video, we see the vials from the end of Apocalypse. That are the, yeah, which yeah. that doesn't... I mean, again, already breaking continuity because they were going to the Essex company. Well, here's the thing. She said it was owned by some American company. They never said the name of it. Mm. Could have been the Essex company? I think so. That's I think so. <laughs> I mean, okay. Is it a wild Congrats jump? Congrats to them sure. to fucking have that retcon immediately from the post credit scene of the movie that came out less than a year before. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You raise good questions about if her whole skeleton's animating mine, because I like what you're talking about with the growth. Yeah. And then, of course, mm-hmm. I, what I wanted to do is just a quick check. I'm um, rusty, of course. That Gabby in All New Wolverine, the clone of X23, does have bone claws. Mm-hmm. So that would in- indicate that, yes, Laura also has the bone claws as well. So would they just graft it to her? Huh. I assumed those claws were not yeah, like... That's what I, 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 I thought it was that was the only Adamant team chef. Granted, we didn't see any proof of it anywhere else. At no point did we see... Why would she not have bone claws, though? If she was just a straight up clone, no, no, that's what he said. Kevin said they did surgery on her and just put the adamantium on. Yeah, the claws. I don't think she, I don't I don't but know she that she had the bone, bone claws. claws. But why no. wouldn't she? Wait, what? 
She had bone claws. They grafted adamantium to the Here's the thing she didn't. Here's a question from the internet. It says, why would Laura have an adamantium skeleton? This pertains to the new movie Logan. Spoiler alert. Is uh, is there an explained reason why Laura had an adamantium skeleton? So I guess somewhere in the movie they do show that her skeleton was full adamantium. There is a scene where they show Adam- like her the, the files. Stuff. The mm-hmm. files? I don't remember it having... She has more than just adamantium claws. The file we see on X-2323, Laura's a 23rd clone of the 23rd Weapon X program, shows multiple locations for adamantium injections. There I mean, was no proof she had her claws removed for adamantium coding in the film universe. Unlike Wolverine, though, it did not indicate she underwent complete adamantium bonding. Likely just adamantium lacing, like comic bullseye or saber tooth do at some points. Okay. Comic la- uh, uh, comics. Adam- yeah, comics. Uh-huh. Comics, comics, <laughs> they Science don't make sense. <laughs> don't yeah, worry about what it. they're saying about her being the 23rd clone what about of the it? Weapon X. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Remember, it's because it's they're all X23 with yeah. a dash after it, but she's mm. X23 dash 23 mm. in the movie. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, though, she fucks these guys up. Logan gets up. He's fucking people up. Everybody's fucking people up. Logan gets back in the car with Professor X. Then, hey, Nick, this is where he drives around, tries to punch through the thing. It doesn't work. Everything. He's driving around like a crazy person. Eventually, Laura, I think, probably before this, ran and jumped onto the fucking car, which is so fucking cool. awesome, so and then swooped cool. in. And then when they start shooting, the she too. like puts down Professor X to take the bullets. Yeah. I, I love Shot in the hand. I love the practicality of the chase scene because, again, this is another example of this being a smaller movie but using the choreography well. Yeah. When the, they hit the chain link fence and pull it back, and he uses the chain link fence to, to like take out the motorcycle, hit, hit off the motorcycle. It's like, fuck, fuck man. Fuck, that looks so painful. It's just for so the cool. Like, little, little shit that's just good direction. It just shows you don't need crazy ass CG shit, just really well thought out set pieces. Yeah, be creative with what you got instead of like having a fucking giant building falling down. Instead of a back. giant blue fucking thing from the sky. Yeah, call it a day. Uh, they race a train, they get in front of the train, this cuts them off from the bad guys, which you don't think alright, giving you maybe 30 minutes head start I think you would be able to That's catch enough. it pretty, pretty quick with your ah. fucked up car, your fucked up limo, but no, they don't. They drive, 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 they get to Oklahoma City. Uh, it looks like Vegas, but it's mm-hmm. Oklahoma City. Uh, they roll up there. They had no point to ditch this car. They roll up to the front door with this fucked up limo. And I'm like, that's a weird choice, but okay, whatever. They roll up there. They park it there and they keep it out front. I have a quick question. Right on me. Did the gas station happen after this or before it? Gas station happened before, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Because I like the gas station. Yeah, you're right. Gas station. Yeah, you're right. You're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. So yeah, we roll up to the gas station to get some supplies or whatever, so Charles can pee. I think too. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Logan, I need to pee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, (laughs) He's he's yelling at him in the car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So sad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Exactly. Exactly. Meanwhile, yeah, Laura's walking around eating Pringles, putting on sunglasses, and then she's gonna fucking kill this guy. Drinking the hypno energy drink. Yeah. That comes up multiple times. And that's one of the things that's the corn syrup. And that's what's neutering the X gene, right? Not killing mutants, I don't think. Just neutering no, x yeah, Um I think it kills mutants. I, no. Like, someone tell me in the comments. I'm pretty sure. It, like, there's no way that all the mutants we knew were just dying. But again, they're, well, I don't they're think they're being hunted. I think they're being hunted. What's I think yeah, I yeah, there's two different Reapers. things What's it called, on. the drink? Still, Hypno. There's so many mutants. Like, I don't think, like, the any amount of Reavers could kill all that peop- that many people. Like, I just don't think it's possible. Okay. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. we'll agree to disagree. Mm-hmm. More until we fi- find out a conclusion from I mean, you, just, the viewer. Caliban and Xavier would be dead if if this exactly. was like because it's it's everywhere and they don't know that mm-hmm. you know so they're it's not like they're being like hey we can't drink corn syrup yeah exactly and exactly. it's also in other stuff it, it is in the water you know so I just think that they'd be dead there's no yeah way. I, I agree with Kevin this but I don't know yeah. um yeah so anyways he flips her or she flips the guy goes to stab him Logan grabs him sorry about that do you have a phone charger get the phone charger they go into the I mean, car just steal it they, they just watch take everything they don't yeah of course money. yeah of course yeah. not yeah. 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 I had a problem like, just take whatever, take whatever the fuck, the fuck you want it's crazy get the fuck out of here uh, yeah Logan then they watch the video that it reveals the entire program and what's really happening and that yes she's a clone of Wolverine and she's your daughter Logan <laughs> okay cool then we go to Oklahoma City I'm happy that they addressed it so early that they're like let's just confirm yes she is the daughter. It's not some maybe, and we're gonna have this big reveal is at the she end. His daughter, clone, yeah. well, clone daughter. No, 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 no. But they but say he, she. Patrick was like, "It's your daughter." He makes it seem like he like had sex like, with no, a girl. She's a fa- she's a female version of me. That's me. But yeah, That's but just like the clone the, of me. The, the the like the moms weren't. It wasn't like they were cloned from an like create. You know, they were put the in point. a person. I, I imagine they Test, used some yeah. of that. 
So like she's got a little DNA from probably, the mom. Yeah. Not, not 100% yeah. Wolverine. Good call. So it very much was. Unlike the Wolverine that comes at him later. Who is right, which is a, like clone. you see the parts being cloned, yeah, yeah. which was cool. In the video, you, you see like they yeah, work yeah, on something else and, stuff, and yeah, you yeah, see like yeah. the arm that's and the legs. That's why they started, yeah, they, they've moved on to X-24, this Wolverine clone, and they're going to, that's, they say, let's fucking kill all these kids. And that's when the nurses and uh, doctors all rebel of like, right, not well. all, but like most of them, like we have to get these kids out. We got to take them to North Dakota, Eden. That's the plan. See you there, everybody. Girl from the orange, new is black out um we get to oklahoma leave the car out front great uh they all walk into the casino apparently some green screens happened here because they can't be in the casino because oklahoma is stupid nailed it it was great uh she looks at an outfit she wants to buy they need new clothes they buy and patrick stewart gets a nice hat he's such a good grandpa you know yeah exactly well we need to buy new clothes anyway it's so cute and then he starts putting on the hat in the elevator he's like here's your hat we can change change in the hotel right (laughs) and then she starts hitting all the buttons like a kid would that's really cute and it's just great stuff and then they roll into the hotel room meanwhile back at the gas station pierce and companies they roll up and they're like oh hey man i'm really cool and sexy i'm pierce i'm making people question their heterosexuality uh like where's everybody don't don't question it man just go in just go just (laughs) Just open the door (laughs) um and i forget what he does but they they find out that yeah they've been through here and they're a bunch of assholes Uh uh and they're going over towards oklahoma city great but doesn't he is this the part where he has a conversation with caliban where he's like you're fucking with us like we see Caliban and he's all burned no, that's, up and crispy. That's, that's later. I think okay. this is when he burns Caliban. No, that was earlier. No, yeah, he I exactly. Mean, I love, he's I taking love Caliban the scene on your right. like, get the tracker. And you don't yeah. know it's Caliban. And then the next scene with him is him with Caliban. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. The tracker's not like some device. That was a cool it's thing like, we dude. we ignored. Yeah, I really did like when they torture him and like cut it open. He just starts. I don't like it. Like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it's yeah. horrible scene. But like, wow, yeah, it's really I didn't realize he was a vampire. Like, you know. I thought the tracker was in the limo. But no, that like the light like no, burned Caliban, him. No, Caliban. And Caliban was, can smell, and, yeah. he was and that's what that's what you're talking about. Of like, eventually they're like, we feel like you're you know moving you're, yeah, slow you're on purpose, moving a little slow yeah. on purpose, just to give your friends one like a, a step ahead of us. Yeah. So what did they like, hide yeah, in the, totally in the yeah. seat of the limo? No, he found a pill. That was the pill. That he oh, had. the pill he was. Oh, yeah, Patrick Stewart wasn't taking that. Like, fuck, and then it's that's exactly. So that's shockwave. He goes to sell the car. Yeah, and as he's selling the car, he's looking through the the car to clean it out. I guess. And then he finds the pill and he's right. like, oh, fuck, I gotta get back gotta as go. soon as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I thought that was like, when he said get the tracker, I was like, oh, they've been tracking him with the device that he uh, found in no, the it's, seat. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. got it, got it. That's what so yeah, he rolls cage. back up in this new truck they just got mm-hmm. and uh, he was drinking at the bar. What happened at the bar when he was drinking at the bar? He, right? They had to change the tires. That's, so when, we saw like, the yeah, news, that's when we saw the Thank news. That's when we saw the news that was uh, talking about the, I think it was a conspiracy theorist being like, it's weird that the mutants are all gone and the water's poisoned. No, that was a radio transmission. Was that? Yeah. But I seen him drinking at the bar. I thought something would have happened there, but maybe not. Maybe it was just maybe remember. it was just slice of life. It was there was definitely something on the news. No, it was just, was it it was just, just oh, a commercial oh, for. Was the, that the? It's been ten years since the. No, the, that was later. That was after mm. because that is prompted by the what the events that happened at the hotel. Doesn't matter. Uh, this happened right. at the gas station. There, they're selling the car. He's drinking. Now we're gonna go back. Meanwhile, back at the uh, uh, the hotel, we had, Patrick Stewart was watching an old movie. He was showing it to Laura. Nobody was listening to Wolverine. Wolverine had come in to talk about the comic book stuff. What's the name of that movie? Shane. 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 Okay. And this is what I'm saying. The heavy hat in this. Yeah. I, like, all that stuff. Way too much for me. Uh, while Logan, Professor X, and X-23 are hiding out in a hotel, they watch Shane, an Oscar-winning Western from the 50s about a gunslinger who decides to protect a farm from outlaws. Most of the allusions to Shane are pretty clearly spe- spelled out, with Logan mm-hmm. standing in for the Shane character and Laura reciting the same final speech for yep. Logan's eulogy at the end. Um, what you might not realize is the narrative thread runs deeper as the whole conflict between the Munson family and the Canewood Corn Syrup Company <laughs> feels reminiscent of the events in Shane. Uh, in that film, farmers are antagonized by some landowners owners trying to oh, kick crap. them off their property, much like the backwoods assailants and Logan trying to do try to do to the Munsons. I love there's a great there's a great small thing that they they did in this scene. Whereas uh, they're sitting there, she's obviously taken to Patrick Stewart as the grandpa character, and she's in the chair and she's just screwing yeah. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. He's just letting her because she's a kid, and it's like this is fun for him. This is what kids it's do. Really yeah. endearing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when he was like, this movie is almost 100 years old. It's like, holy shit. Yeah. Just yeah. like me. It's been a long and time. They, they, he makes reference to some theater he that, that he it. watched it in, and that, that's the theater that Patrick Stewart grew up with in real life. Oh, that's oh. cool. That's really cool. And it's where the Waynes were murdered in Gotham. No. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> and catching up to everything we've done then, yeah. So, just as Wolverine pulls up the truck and gets out, that's when it's like, wah, wah, wah. And he, well, he looked around and saw bad guys were there. Pierce's dudes are there. And it's, wah, wah, wah. It's the psychic stuff, and people are frozen, but Logan's not. And he's like, ah. 
uh, and it's like really painful and he's you see how painful it is and he's walking real slow it against so it. It's so hard to breathe during this. And thing. then he gets and then when yeah. he finally gets up there, it's even harder to do it. And that's when he starts doing the fucking that. wall shit that's fucking amazing. And oh, then we get to the scene the, the thing that's awesome where the guy slowly turns his hand and Logan reaches over, fucking kills him. Oh, murder opens him. the door and you see everybody about to kill Patrick Stewart, but it's just too late and he's doing the wah 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 and he's having a seizure or whatever. And then as you said earlier, Laura's there also crawling, like she knows what's up and like she hands him the thing and well Wolverine's killed everybody. And then she they inject him and then they're like, Yo, let's get the fuck out of here and they fucking And everyone just drops Soon as yeah. Over, yeah, exactly. Just, boom. Just drop dead. And they, they scoot out of there pretty quick. I love the thing where Pierce, everybody's jostled and like no, only the, you know, Wolverine's really walking around like, I'm okay. Everybody else is still trying right, to recover from this. Up. And I love when Pierce comes out of like HQ and like does the down the stairs yeah. like he can't even walk still. And he was like, fucking dope. Well, another s- moment that I thought was fucking really sad and like poignant was as they're leaving the hotel. Uh, Xavier's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Exactly. Yeah, 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 I'm so yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Fuck. It was like, fuck, man. Yeah. Um, Look at this guy. Fun piece of trivia for anyone out there that does special effects. The way they, uh, they did that effect uh, was they shot it a little bit wide and shook the camera and then restabilized it in post. Mm. So they, they intentionally made the camera so shaky. The warp so shit. it has a little bit of the, like, so the in between. Like, oh. So it's, but not 100% stabilized. And that's something you can do with like shaky footage. Obviously, you do stabilization, but they did it on purpose. Wow. Go do and it right so, now with our camera for this whole shoot. Okay. <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. No, 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 wide no, no, we're not gonna know what's happening. Uh, we're back on the road. Uh, we're driving. It's still all crazy. Uh, the bad guys are still gonna figure out. This might be where they talk to Calban, and you might be putting a step behind or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, the at what point do we see the guy uh, from Hudson Hawk? When does he come in? I don't even know who that is, so I can't really help the you. The professor guy. That's the bad, the main bad guy. Yes. Oh, not yet. He comes yeah, in. Yeah, he writer. comes in at. Well, we've seen him in the the cell phone footage. He's gonna show up at Eric LaSalle's house because right. as we're driving at here, the, uh, all the fucking automated trucker sh- sh- things cut people off, and then people spiral out, and er- Wolverine spirals out, and so does Eric LaSalle has to pull over, and then Eric LaSalle's horses get loose, and Professor is like, "We should help them." Okay. And then he's like, "Fuck them! I ain't got time for this." And he's should like, "No, help! I got fucking help." Just cool. Exactly. Right? We'll touch the automated. Uh, the automated semis. Sure, yeah, a little bit, of fu- a little futuristic, right? Yeah, yeah a little bit futuristic, it? which I like. And, um, and I like that we don't get really why they kind of go crazy. He was like, "Is that, are they like, yeah, he's like, they fucking with the trucks?" And he's like, "I don't know." Yeah, later on, well, yeah, exactly. And it's like, like mm, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, eventually they pull over. Yeah, Professor X suddenly has the power of horses. He uses them to not. He's got mind control. He can mind control. I horses. feel like that should have come he? up in all these other years that I have. I can control animals he as can well. Control whatever he wants. Tell you what, if I'm controlling an animal, I'm making porty attack people all the time. But sure. I sure. Think, fair. I think he just calmed I had a dream down. last I night. I threw him at somebody. Oh my god! <laughs> how did he react? How did, how he fell and hurt out? his leg, of course. And I was like, God damn it! Well, well, that's what you get. And I was like, I shouldn't have thrown yeah, you. I guess that's like really on me. You know how many times I've seen that little fucker and want to film like a football? Oh yeah, totally. All the time. Uh, as they get the horses back up, the Eric LaSalle's wife's like, hey, we'd love to repay you for dinner. And Wolf's well, like, I don't. And then Patrick's like, that'd be a great idea. I'm sure your Such whole family a- won't be brutally killed because of it. He's a nice a- grandpa. Yeah. Got, Terrible. Yeah. This is the only flaw I have with this movie. I'm like, Patrick Stewart, you don't get that these people are literally on your asses. Yeah, you yeah, do yeah. not think that they're going to fucking show up at this house and kill everyone. Dude, yeah. they have a new car. He's not thinking about where Caliban is. He's, he's also just a old happy and, and old man. Yeah. Well, just no, enjoying I, life. I get why he, he did had a it. perfect Because he wanted to show Wolverine like family yeah, and like yeah, he yeah. could have a different life. But yeah, we're stupid. beyond that at this point. I know, now. right? Wolverine's got two weeks left. Let it go. Like, what, we, like what, what was your plan here, Patrick Stewart? Like, Wolverine, you're going to go buy a house like next door to them and live for no, us? Like, no, they're Wol- being Wol- to, fucking hunted down. He thought Logan and what's her face, Laura, Laura, would go into Eden and probably pull the metal out, and Wolverine would live for another thousand years with her. I guess, but like, it just seemed like a weird teaching moment, a time where of like, hey, so we're it, gonna put this have, family. We had a great scene where he was like, "Oh, the scene's amazing. Th- this is what you could have. Oh, yeah, like, everything. This they is get what there, they is. bullshit at the table like you would with your friends or when you are introducing. And they talk about, you know, he used to run a school and you the, see her smile. Yeah, and he's talking. They're, you know, Patrick Stewart's giving uh, Wolverine and shit about it, right? And good too. The corn did look good, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's piling yeah, the she corn doesn't know how like to a... eat. They have to give her silverware. That's all funny and stuff. Uh, but yeah, they're doing. They're. It's a very, very lovely scene of like, yeah, mm-hmm. this is them cool being home. And it is. Then yeah, the water gets cut off, and we're like, what? And he's like, let me put Dad to bed. He puts him to bed. And he's like, I, you know, I don't deserve this moment, but this is the nicest moment I've had in a long time, and this could be all yours. And yada yada yada. Yeah. All this dumb shit that doesn't make any sense for the timeline, but whatever. Uh, Eric LaSalle and Wolverine get in the, oh. into the truck. What? I love, uh, there's a great fucking moment, and I don't know if it was ad libbed or not, but he was like, he puts him down and he goes, You want to watch, you want to watch TV? They got TV. Yeah, they got, got TV. He it's like, it was just, it's something you would say to your, like, your dad, elderly person. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, God damn, that was a good line. 
Yeah. yeah. Such a fucking good line. Uh, I think we kind of ran over the, after the hotel incident happens, they're on the thing you hear on the radio that it's like, hey, this hotel incident happened, 700 people or something are injured. Um, it's very similar to the win- uh, the West, West Westchester Chester. incident, and then he cuts it off before they say that like seven sure. X-Men die. Yeah, and that's the thing. Oh, not there, actually. Don't worry about it. Uh, the automated cars, I missed this because yeah. I was in there. Yeah. Uh, do you talk about them? Yeah. 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 Is there any significance there, or is that just I, in the yeah, future well, I, things I, are different? Go ahead, take it off. Oh, I was just going to say, I, um, I, later, they the Logan is like, is that why the automated cars fucked up? Because so they're think trying to was, fuck with Eric LaSalle. Yeah. The but nice Eric was like, I don't know. They never, they don't really like. There's, I, there's suspicion it. that it, it was that the same company that cut off the water is still is fucking with the family to that degree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the that they were like the, the automated cars taking the corn syrup or the corn mm-hmm. did that to fuck with Eric oh, Lasalle. Yeah. Like, st- get the fuck out. Because they want that land. the black dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. got it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyways, though, then we get we Eric Lasalle and Wolverine drive over there. They're harvesting all this corn. Uh, eminent domain. They tried to buy the house. All this different stuff. They're the only holdouts here, and so this company's making their life a living hell. It, it felt like such a cool. Uh, like next plot point in a video game yes yeah, where you're about to chill out it's like oh the water's cut off who's gonna go help us oh logan can go like it felt like yeah. all right like, time, my, to go, time to go to the next mission yeah, yeah. Yeah. i loved all the like grandpa moments that that uh xavier had where he was like hey, my son will help. of course we'll come and eat <laughs> of course we'll stay we're yeah. tired it was like oh that is such a like grand and you Wolverine calls it do. out to him. Yeah. Like you're putting these people yeah, at risk. Like you know what I mean. Die. Like we. This is Straight stupid. But well, he's like, well, I'm fucking Professor X. And Listen boy, to me. Do don't die. stab me and kill me. Even though I could kill everyone. Be careful with the mangoes. <laughs> don't. Uh, the mangoes <laughs> still here. Uh, and so they fix the water. The bad guys roll up, and they get, they're like fucking classic bad guys. Like fucking, they got the cowboy hats on. Like I don't want to do any these parts. Blah, 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 blah. And like uh, Wolverine won't shut up, and he's he's being and he's like fucking being mean to him. And like ah, let's stay away from my friend or whatever. And then he, he knocks the gun away. He takes the gun, breaks it, punches the guy in the face, breaks it. They all run away scared. Great. Now we got two sets of bad guys. Great job, Logan. But hey, Eric LaSalle's like, thanks for having my back. ER. Yeah. Great. What's going to happen when you're gone tomorrow and they come to kill me? Exactly. That's what Wolverine. Not thinking through this one. Maybe de escalate the situation. Wolverine, here. not a thinker. So no, we cut back action, to Eric LaSalle's house. Uh, Logan walks in and Professor X is there. He's like, oh, I remember. I fucking killed every, all the X Men. Yeah, I'm, I'm a horrible person. Night, yeah. I don't deserve it. Yeah. And guess what? It's not Wolverine. It's X24. He stabs fucking Professor X oh, in the chest. Man, that was such a good up. scene. I yeah. mean, like, like that's it's Professor X giving the speech to who he thinks is Logan and yeah. he's pouring his heart out. And it is the goodbye to us yeah. as an audience. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. And then great. yeah, the, the look in his face when he realizes this you're not young? Logan. Yeah. It, it just. Broke my heart, man. Did he <laughs> realize? I think he realized yeah. it as he stabbed, gets stabbed through the chest. Well, I, I mean, I feel like it was later, like Logan having to be like, "That wasn't me. It wasn't me." No, I just feel like when when he put his when he puts his fit, Fist like there is a there's, there's yeah, a second he, he where he's <gasps> yeah, like he there's a look that he says or that he says something or there's a look that he makes that like shows, oh fuck, Fear, not yeah, right. man. See, I I had such a different uh, read. I really felt like he was like, "Oh my god, you're putting me out of my misery." Oh, like, like I, I thought this. no. I thought it was very much when he puts his I face he on him. Him, He yeah. looks up and realizes something's wrong. And something's this isn't different. The guy, yeah. But, yeah. Hmm. Man, uh, then I think the young boy runs yep. in. He gets stabbed to death by Logan, right? Then right the mom's the like, what the fuck? X-24. She's got a gun and shoots X-24, and then he kills her, too. Yeah. Then Eric Sal hears all this shit outside. Logan hears all this shit. They run on inside. What the fuck's going right. on? X-23 ran in at some point. She's on his back, down, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But what a terrifying moment where, like, Eric, Eric Sal and, and uh, Wolverine come in. Logan comes in, and you hear the wife scream from upstairs, mm-hmm. don't Shotgun. come up here. Don't yeah. come up here. Oh, is that what yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. screams like, "Don't come up here!" Like it's you're fucking dead. Then you hear the gunshot. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bamboozled. Yeah. He's so up. then the fight's on. X twenty four is out there. X twenty three is fighting. Uh, well, I, well the, no, the, the, the bad the, guys. Sh- yeah, the, the other guys have, have they already in. gotten her at this point? Did she ever attack X twenty four? Well, yeah. yeah that he he puts her in the thing. In the thing. All right. He walks around. She's screaming. Bad guys pull up. Well, that's I love that scene of twenty four walking down with Laura, and. Logan's looking at him like, what the fuck yeah, is oh, going they on? Right next to each other. Yeah, and he just walks by him, and Logan's like, Professor X, uh, Laura, who do, who do I help? You know, I, I and he thought runs it was pretty clear that he was just like, all right, I'm gonna go fucking figure out what's going on with the professor. It seemed like in that moment for me, it was weird that he didn't give a fuck about. Um, well, there was just that conflict Laura of like being carried out. Well, yeah, I, just, I, mean, I didn't feel the conflict when, I, when I we saw I that exchange. You see in her eyes where like he clearly picks Professor yeah. X over her. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think that there was a conflict. I think that. He was just like, oh, I'm going to go 
figure out what's wrong well, with the Well, there's like professor. a second where he looks and then goes. Yeah, he looks upstairs and he and does And she looks like, at him like, are you going to save me? And he's like, no. And he yeah, like goes upstairs. Runs upstairs. And it's really sad. He missed all that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's that, that in these moments, it was I was very just like, subtle. Yeah, it was very subtle. Go to go to the. She can take care of herself. I'll get back to her. Yeah. They're not going to get away while it is. Uh, he gets up there. Yeah, now it's all just a hodgepodge though, because yeah, the the bad guys from the water plant pull up. The bad guys uh, with Pierce and the Doctor pull up with Caliban as well. Uh, the, the guy's like, I want to pay you five thousand dollars. He just cuts his fucking head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Wolverine the put fuck? them. Or, it's uh, interesting. They, they weren't. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. It's interesting that they weren't like, yeah, hey, you're clearly 30 years younger right now. It's dark. Yeah. They wouldn't it's know. dark as just headlights. Right. I mean, he's got, they've seen him for like two seconds. You okay. know what I mean? Sure. Uh, yeah, he fucking fucking murders all these goddamn assholes. Yeah, fucking them all. Can't uh, stop him. Over there, the doctor's like, is no! this the decapitation scene? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, what? Because like, it is fucking... definitely probably the most brutal out of all the brutal killings in this movie. But like, he gets his head lopped the fuck off. Yeah. 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 Straight up. Doctor's trying to calm him down, but he can't. He walks over there to try to calm him down. Uh, Logan, what is he doing? He's dragging Xavier's body out at this point. He's he doing something. Him in, he put him in the truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, inside the thing, Caliban gets his hands on some grenades. Says, beware the light, which is what he said when he got burned. Cool. Blows it up. So of course, he doesn't. I just love the look of him, too. When he grabs the fucking things, he's just like, Stephen Merchant. It's just so Dude, weird. That was like such he... a fat, sad scene, though. Yeah. Of like, hey, I'm taking away their like, ace in the hole that always finds them. By killing myself? Oh, man. But also, like, you know, if you didn't have to go out with a one-liner, you could have killed the, the oh, super hot dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just yeah. be quieter with the yeah, just like Or just, like, Pierce, take him off and then Pierce. just toss him, like, yeah, in front of his foot, him. you know? Maybe roll but him in front of you. We wore the light, and the guy was like, oh, and it gave him yeah, time to run. Out of the <laughs> like, uh, that happens. That there's an explosion there. Wolverine feels he has, or doesn't feel he has to fight fucking uh, X24 Wolverine. now. Uh, Wolverine's just getting his ass handed to him, but giving to him good, but getting his ass handed. They're fucking. It's like, oh man, he's he's younger and more powerful. This is fucking crazy. And then Eric LaSalle drives a truck over and fucking slams him into a bunch of farm equipment. X24, of course, gets out, shoots him in the head, and fucking blows off a big chunk of his head. Really cool. Slows him down and then in, I think, with the best like uh, silent fuck you because I'm about to die turns the gun on Logan and f- fires, but it's just a click and then he collapses and dies and powerful it's like, shit yeah. great fucking Real powerful awesome shit. And then just dies. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, Logan, of course, then frees X twenty or X twenty three. Laura. Uh, they drive off. Um, we bury Professor X. Uh, and Logan breaks down crying while he does it or trying to talk about it. Right? If he has a, oh. a line he's trying to get through, I forget what it was. She tries to hold his hand. Yeah. He pulls away really dramatically. Yeah. That's his like voice cracking him. while talking yeah, just yeah, got yeah, me. Yeah. So like your dad much. crying. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean. Uh, and then yeah, eventually goes out and beats the shit out of the broke down truck with a shovel and then passes out, which is fucking great. Uh, they we had already seen a, a group or a guy pulling up to fish or whatever. Laura goes steals that car. We see it off camera. Meanwhile, back at the Eric LaSalle mansion, uh, they've taken X twenty four off of the farm equipment and are using the green stuff to heal him to kickstart his regenerative stuff and get him healed up good. What's that called? Cause that's in the that's Pimp in the juice. comics. The, the, no, the, <laughs> it's got a lot of loose. The, it's, it's the drug that enhances mutant abilities. Oh fuck, that's right. right. From, I don't remember what it's called. It was big Ultimate, Ultimate yeah. yeah, and it's yeah. around the storyline. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, yeah. interesting. I didn't put that together. Oh man. That's such good a good shit. yeah. It was really. It's cool probably to see that. the spinal fluid of Apocalypse because remember Apocalypse was able to make other mutants stronger with his white eyes. So that's no, probably he got what's happening. Down, dude. He got uh, you, down. Uh, but you know some some of it remains. This is like, you know, a really you know. cool name and like it pimp does. Juice. It makes it makes mutants stronger. Like mutagen. Like yeah, it, it makes whatever their mutation stronger and like steroids. Yeah, exactly. But it does make them crazy though. Steroids goes crazy. Like steroids. Steroids make you crazy. Nah. Right, Nick. I, I don't even. <laughs> yeah. So then. Get on them, dude. An HGH, man. I'll, I'll throw up an assist here to make sure I get this part right. This is where we wake up in the veterinarian's office. Yeah. You said it was a veterinarian's yeah. office? I thought it was a veterinarian's office. There was signs. I thought it was just like, a doctor, but I don't no, know. It was oh. definitely a doctor. It was oh, 100%. It was, a it was urgent care. Oh, yeah. Because there were yes, other people that is outside. Right, yeah. And he's like, oh, man, you're a mutie. I haven't seen one of you in a long time. You know, you guys are for sure. Yeah, it was cool. I did too. It was cool, though. Yeah. And the gash is in his stomach. It's like, I'm sure you're a nice guy, but I got to fucking go. They go, they get in, you know, they get in the car that Laura stole they drive for a while well, we have a good we have the, the the moment here the reveal of like he's like you've got something inside you that's killing you goes, i know what it is Doug. he's like we got to figure out what it is like i know what it is motherfucker i just wanted to and he's like well i need to save your life he's like you want to save a life save your own forget yeah. you ever fucking saw us yeah, yeah. and good i'm stuff. sure that guy died too, i just want to squeeze some neosporin on that wound and just kind of rub it in you know <laughs> stick my such finger a cool in it. concept that like the adamantium in him is like 
as his body slows down, as he gets older, it just can't fight off the infection. Yeah. Because if you had metal in you, like, isn't that what happens? Fox die. Like, you have to take, you die, have to take antibiotics die, if you have, die. like, metal shit put in you. I don't have antibiotics, but, like, yeah, you, you, have, you different have to, types of metal react differently. Yeah, like, and, your body can yeah. reject them, and his right, body's yeah. been slowly rejecting this over the years, and now it just can't keep up I with it. I have a piece really of pencil cool. lead in my hand, and it's been getting me ever since. Like, you see it right there? Is that, your, is that, a mutant, is no, that your mutant ability? It's, it's getting me, Greg. Yeah? Yeah. Any day now, I'll fucking Damn, shit the bed. It's fucking harsh, man. He really yeah. does have it. Yeah. For people that are that's can I get it out? Dug out. Yeah, well, no, let, let, let it's me get it out. It's fucking in there, dude. Oh, yeah, that's it's fine. in there. I got yeah. Yeah. your other man and get it out. I'll get it in there. Oh, it's way deep in there. I got a scalpel. I got it home. You want me to get it? I had a... Do you want Kevin to scalpel you? He's no, offering. You. It's a nice offering. What do we need to get on Patreon? Yeah. Get a sky cam with Kevin's surgery. How comfortable are you allowing Kevin to do surgery Andy, on no you? no shit, I'm great with a scalpel. Can I, can I be a thousand percent honest right now? I, to, for this kind of thing, I would 100% trust Kevin. I would, I mean, I'm going to get, I know Kevin's going to numb me first. Then yeah. he's going to use his little scalpel, Kevin and then he's going to do this. Tons of ac uh, access to a <laughs> numbing agent. Any sort of, any Kevin's sort of not going to get you Don't, something. We'll get Kevin's you something not going to jump it. into this. Kevin's like, idea of numbing you would be you guys both drink beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> we see what happens. You want a snowball? Kevin, make a snowball. Kevin's going good. on this. You wake up with another hand so dear. <laughs> Where'd you get this from? <laughs> <laughs> All right, they drive for a while. No, uh, Logan keeps nodding off. She's like, "Let me." She. This is where she starts talking, right? Yeah, yeah. And she's yelling and stuff. And like, oh, she's Spanish. Spanish. The whole time, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, kids' names. She's like, take me to here. Take me to. Jonah, the right. Gideon, Jonah, Jonah. Rebecca, Delilah, Richter. That's what it was. Yeah. These are the people in the photo, right? These are the people in the photo, the, the other mutants. Jonah, Gideon, Rebecca, Delilah, it's like, give them Richter. Context, like at least in Spanish, be like. These are the names, you know, or something. She just kept yelling the names. I've never heard the name Richter ever. No, but he was the main dude. Richter. Cool. Richter. Yeah, he's Richter's like name. Richter scale, because he makes earthquakes. Oh. Uh, uh, son of it. Well, not son, but, well, I guess son, clone. but a clone son of Avalanche. We don't uh. see him in the movies, but he's one of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants guys. Cool. Eventually, uh, Logan's, you know, they're going to pull over. Or no, he just slumps over, right? He, they talk. Yeah, and he, he starts she, like, she convinces him to stop it, or he just stops it. She says to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yes. rest. He does that, and she. it's very sweet. She lets him just put her his head in her lap for a while, because at first he just slumps over, and then eventually she does that. And then eventually, on top of that, she slides out, comes over, gets in the car, drives. And we wake up, yeah, with him being loaded. No, we wake up with the car parked in North Dakota, her walking to the fire watch tower mm -hmm. campo santo waving yeah uh, I love that. totally uh everybody's up there waving and uh, uh logan gets out and he walks over and then he just collapses and then he wakes up again this time on the little stretcher being brought up by the kids they have a hook they put him down over there. worth noting that at some point though in this the bad guy do. flips the picture around and, and he has the coordinates right, of course so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well zone. we don't have the tracker anymore but clearly they're going here because this yeah. is uh because some dumb fuck thoughts to take a picture of all the kids that have escaped and put the coordinates of yeah. where they're going to be dumb on this fucks. date with the date and the time what? The thing you have to remember is that their weaknesses, it, it, <laughs> their weaknesses is information. <laughs> it wasn't just Laura that escaped. Laura escaped with that nurse. All the other kids had escaped and were rendezvousing on this point. We know because yeah. they're all in the picture with the rendezvous point and the time but on could, the back. You can imagine it. that they caught one of the kids, and that's where that picture came from. No, I think no, it was, was like Laura's. disseminating it was, information. It was Laura's like picture. Someone wrote it down. It was real Laura's quick. picture. Yeah, I forget. I forget. It was in I her think, backpack. Yeah, the pack. Uh, the backpack got left, and she got. Yeah, that's how they got it. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, we get there. All the kids are hip hip hooray. Uh, they, we get some exposition from Richter, I believe. Right, he's the lead muty there. Yeah. I'm just good time to talk about these goddamn Fucking kids. Fucking do I it. I wish that we got a little bit more powers with these kids, you know what I mean? We may not learn the names of the various mutant kids that Laura was was in the transgene program with, we but seeing names. as how they're all clones like her, we can piece together a few of their origins based on their mutant abilities. We didn't know they are like naming names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one names. appears to be the son of Pyro, and there's also one of Iceman as well. There are also a couple that do in fact have names as shown in the credits. One of the kids is revealed to be a clone of Christopher Bradley, a mutant with electrical powers who was played by Dominic Monaghan. Monaghan? Oh, Monaghan? Yeah. Monaghan. Monaghan. In Origins? In, in Origins. Uh, so he was, yeah, I remember the little... Yeah, yeah, light bulb yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, there's also, as we see, I think there's a black kid that, that had yeah, the yeah. Wolverine um, action oh. figure when he yeah. like electrocuted the thing. Um, there's also Richter, the team leader, who's based on a member of the X Force in the comics, whose power is to create earthquakes. <laughs> and there's also Lizard Boy and Pinecone Girl. There we go, great. Whose names are in the credits as Lizard Boy and Pinecone. Lizard Girl. Boy had the little tiny teeth. He looked like oh yeah. Well, he had the scales yeah. on his necks yeah. that made me very Pinecone cool. pine Girl could sit on his feet. Pinecone. <laughs> <way. laughs> what is the, the main kid who was like the that was Richter? Richter, that was yeah. Richter. How was he able to levitate the? He the made an earthquake happen. But the oh, so that's he made his power. He lifted just, the car with the ground. 
And then oh, that's God. how he I dropped thought he, it I there. thought he, like, he left it with his brain. Uh-huh. Like, no, brain. no, no, no. Mm. If you look, there's a lot of dirt underneath. That's cool. Okay, that's actually cool. I, I was just saying, like, Pinecone Girl fucking... Oh, my God. It was cool what she did. did. <laughs> it was cool what she did, but it didn't make any sense. At, like, When she suffocates him with the dirt, the grass? No, she like, no, no, she stabbed sh- him with yeah, pine cones. Yeah, shot him with pine cones. Right, sorry. You guys are jumping around a lot. We're not even to that point yet. I'm trying to keep up on where we are. Just trying to figure out what we're talking about. I don't remember Pinecone Girl being a Pinecone Girl. I remember... I remember, no, I remember dude leaves. getting stabbed with a bunch, but I was yeah. just like, I don't know how his pine goes. Uh, so, yeah, Logan wakes back up there. Richter does some exposition, kind of treats him like an asshole, he offers him his money. He says no. Laura's still pissy that he's not coming with him and leaving him. He's like, go have a life. Go do this shit. He sleeps again, I think. I don't know. He he's been out for like two green, days. The green fluid. Right, yeah, don't yeah, take yeah. It all. yeah. Uh, don't, yeah, he wakes up to the note of, yeah, don't take it all, the green shit. They're gone already. Laura left in a huff. Can we talk about the nightmares, though? No. She's like, you were having a nightmare. And he was like, yeah. She's like, I have those two. And he's like, what are yours about? And she's like, well, the people hurting me. Are the same with you? And he goes, no, mine are me yeah, hurting people. people. Yeah. And that's Is this just where really we get the bullet talk? I think mm, right, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. She, like, she yeah, had already found the adamantium bullet. Yeah, yeah of course. That, of course, before it would just erase your memory, but now it'll kill you. No, there you go. Yeah. That's how it works. I guess you can't forget grow everything back half you know. your head, even forget though you've everything you know. already grown back half your head. Doesn't make any you know, sense. Doesn't, don't worry about it. Forget everything you know. Um... He wakes up. They're all gone. All right, cool. They're gone. Oh, fuck. Drones. Oh, no. There's the Pierce team. Oh, fuck. I got to go be old man Logan. So he starts, ho- he grabs the green stuff and he's just hobbling through the woods and he's, we're hearing screams and they're making there and then we get the, they're chasing the kids and they're, he covered a lot of guy, ground. Yeah, I was going to say, for a guy that <laughs> hobbles and really can't breathe that well, he covered Dude, like 10 miles Here's the fast. thing though. We know this about Logan. We know this about Wolverine. He actually Before has, us, there's man. three powers. Yeah. Right. Powers mm-hmm. one. Is he can heal. Powers two is that he, he can smell smells, claws, smells, he can smell senses, senses like claws smell stuff. stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then powers three is he's really good at running in forest. He's really great. We've seen it in at least five of these movies. Yeah, Fox movies love God, forest scenes. God, That's how you cheat and the, movie. She sets them the channel all out. in this one. Yeah, You're in his God, domain. That was a fucking dope. Ass scene. Domain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here you go. Going back real quick to the bullet. I really liked the the conversation where she essentially was like, "What's it for?" Yeah, and he did not shy away from it. Yeah. He was like, "Didn't about he say to. you know it?" He was you know about to, and then he was just like, "I was gonna, uh, I'm thinking about killing myself with it because blah blah blah." And I'm like, "Fuck, this is awesome." Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will say this about the forest uh, is that that's where you find wolverines. True. Good point. Good point. That is, is the it, natural is, habitat. Is that how that works? We well, don't find them in the ocean. Come so on, you don't though. find them yeah. in the ocean. Okay. Uh, as he gets closer, he finally injects himself with the shit. He runs in there. He's fucking fucking people up, killing people. The the muty kids finally realize, of course, we have fucking powers. We should probably fuck people up too. They're Why fucking some they people. Up. No, they tried before. They tried when as they were running no. away. That's when Pine Cone Girl killed, and they just that there was they got well, no, overwhelmed. It wasn't until she like tripped and got caught, and then she was like, Arr. yeah. But then they, you got the girl who got yeah. caught, and she like breathed in the guy's arms, and then fucking that was awesome. That, that was so awesome. Painful. That they so they tried. Painful, you just yeah. get the sense the kids just aren't don't, good at don't using know their powers yet, right? And that's what but was he, cool is like you Laura's imagine. about to fuck people up and then you hear that iconic ah, and he looks yeah. over he's just fucking people up all the time. <laughs> then he does he does the fucking does Wolverine the jump, jump which yeah. is so cool and it doesn't look stupid. Uh, it was all yeah. seamless. Yeah. yeah. yeah it wasn't I, like a weird mm. cut. It's important though like when I first It was, it was, it was like, the best oh, Wolverine jump he's had but it still was it's like that's bad. wire yeah. work. All right. But but I did think to myself when I first watched it I was like why wouldn't these kids just organize and fuck but all these people up? But here's the thing. Laura She's such a killing machine because she's been trained to kill, yeah. just like all these other kids. Why? I just don't understand why they would have run away. But that's why they when they could have initially. My my thought on that was that's uh-huh. why they decided to end the program because these kids suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just not good. Man, you soldiers. guys are all they fucking. Ter- that's well, true. Though, they, they were banned. Yeah, I thought strong. that they, they ended the program because the kids didn't want to fight and were like yeah. trying to kill themselves. Like we that's saw that true. one kid yeah. jump yeah. off. So they were yeah. like, "Fuck these kids, yeah. they suck." Richter could have just created a big fucking barrier in between them and. And the bad guys. That would have been a great idea. Right. But again, I don't could think he, he create has that an power. Andy Richter? I'm Andy Richter. He probably I'm could. I can't imagine. Conan, Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien. You're, I was gonna say that's gonna an, say, you're Jimmy doing Kimmel? an Andy Dick impression <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> I'm Andy Dick. You tell me. You show me a person that could do an actual Andy Richter fucking. No, that's a good point. I don't think Impression. it exists. Doesn't think it exists. Exists. I'll get to you next week. All right. uh, so yeah, research. it's all happening. It's all popping off. They're fighting. Everybody's doing great. The kids kill uh, fucking Pierce. Uh, X-24 shows up. He's fucking ready to fuck some shit up. Uh, Wolverine's fighting him. He's getting love fucked them up. Killing Pierce, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I love that it was them that killed Pierce. It feels right. Yeah. And just, yeah, all of them using their powers at once. But when it goes on him, and then there's just like a popping sound, and you just yeah. see uh-huh. like, bl- like what blood a way to through go. the fucking wood shit. 
He gets well, suffocated, electrocuted, frozen, frozen, and like smushed all at the same time. All of the elements. He's, he's <laughs> been torturing these little kids for a long they, time. He had it coming. I also yeah. want to say, as far as understated moments go, there's that great dialogue where he's like, "You'll know when this is gonna like when to fucking." Oh come yeah, out. yeah, yeah. And he walks out as sort of the sacrificial lamb. The guy's like, "Hey man, I'm just trying to be your friend. I'm cool bah, here. Bah. I'm gonna tell you all these important." Bah, he's fucking yeah, canoes his so head. Just fuck you. It's so going. weird. Wolverine using a gun. Well, you see him like, reach yeah. towards oh, his yeah, back, yeah. and you're like, "All right, he's reaching for something," but I didn't expect it to happen that quick. Like, that off, you're like, so well, weird. I guess that guy's dead. <laughs> Fuck your mom. That's the signal. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, do yeah, it yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do it too. And so, yeah, sorry, I forgot all that. Then it all pops off. It's, it's a cool scene. Everything is very, very cool here, mm-hmm. of course. That's when we get the final reveal of like, yeah, no, we just got rid of mutants, and now we're trying to make weapons out of you guys, right? Where they talk so. about yeah, the yeah, corn yeah. syrup. This is the stuff. exposition yeah. of the movie, and just like the dud. It's like they you're talking about where the doctors. The time the movie. Once they're about to say too much, they just cut it fuck off. Yep. Fuck you. Just yeah, psh- exactly. Yeah, Wolverine doesn't give a shit about what's happening at this point. Um, so, yeah, we get down to the final thing of it's uh, X-24 looking like he's going to, you know, fucking kill Wolverine. He's impaled him on the tree at this point, right? He's going to fucking cl- clean his clock and finally end it. And Laura shoots him in the head from a, a distance. Didn't get close. She's good got good, good accuracy. Trained, yeah. trained is killing machine. Snub nose, too. Yeah. Not a very accurate weapon. Oof, but yeah, she nose. takes him out. X-24 is down. She runs over there, and then we get this heartbreaking fucking scene, Fuck. right? Where and like she leans him forward and is like hacking it. And I'm like, what is going on back there? And it was hacking off the branch, so he slides down. And then, yeah, she calls him daddy, finally. He's yeah, fucking it's heartbreaking. Really you know what I mean? So this is how it feels. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. 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 And he's basically like, yeah, you know, don't be what they made you. Be your own thing. Don't do that. And she says, Daddy again. But he's dead. He's gone. He, he, he goes slack and he's gone. Uh, the kids bury him, one of them with an Wolverine action figure. Fucking love it. They put up the cross. They all start walking off into the woods. And Laura double back, back and puts it into an X and walks away. I just got chills. You, same here. Dude. I mean, you just fucking same say here, it. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. can you have a better end? No. Stop the X Men movies. Move on. We're, we're, wrap it up. We're good. The, this is how it feels. Nipples are hard. Dying, guys. Right? Yeah. Nipples yeah. are hard. Fuck, man. Damn. Yeah. Such a good, there, solid ending. And no post credit scene. Yeah, there was like nothing. The just movie done. did have a pre credit yeah. scene. Deadpool 2, if you remember correctly. Oh, right. In theaters, though. In theaters. Yeah. Well, and then, I mean, if when you, depending on how you watch it, mm. it plays before it, mm. if you have the Blu ray. Mm. On HBO, it didn't. Yeah, yeah it didn't on no. Amazon either. But. Yeah, it's so cool because you, you think, you're like, I really want to see where these kids go. I want to see they yeah. reform X Men. I really want to see. It wasn't about them, man. They just don't get it. I'm going to be honest. Never those gonna stories get suck. Yeah. And that's when, at least in the Ultimate Comics, that's when I was like, oh, that man. was shit. Yeah. We can yeah. stop here. Okay. I, 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 oh, I thought it was in this fight, in the X24, X23 fight, but it, it was way earlier that I was like, the most brutal, gross thing to me was when X24 is holding up Logan's arm and stabs him in the armpit. Oh, my like, God. Like through yeah, the dude. arm. It was like, oh. oh, my God. And he like flips him and shit. It was so gross. I don't remember that, but that seems awful. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, when they were fighting in the darkness outside, uh-huh. uh, outside of the Eric Le- yeah. Le- Eric Le- Chappelle's. Eric, <laughs> Eric Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle's brother, Eric Chappelle. Dun 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 down. Ragu. Dun 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 down. Ragu. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ragu Bagu Vids, the podcast within a podcast where red guys talk bad guys. I'm Greg Miller with my co host, Andy Cortez. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, of course, this is where we rank every villain we've seen in either the MCU, any of our ra- random review movies, or the X Men cinematic universe. We will stop after X Men and reset the list we've decided. There's a bad guy from Solo in there. <laughs> Here's where we are right now. <laughs> Currently, there are 29 people on the list. Starting at the bottom, 29, these fucks from Thor. Number 2, 28, These Ducks from Wolverine. Number 27, Abomination. Number 26, Apocalypse, duh. Number 25th, Ron, Ronin, Guardians. Number 24, Cross, Ant-Man. Number 23, That Lady from Ghost. 22, Magneto slash Phoenix, what X3. Number that 21, Loki, so, uh, parenthesis, Ghost Thor. Uh, 20, oh. Obadiah. 19, Mandrish slash Allrish. Tw- 18, The Vision from Solo. Uh, number 17, <laughs> Mass Dormammu. Number 16, Magneto and the Brotherhood. Number 15, so The Dink Sentinels. Too. Number 14, Rockwell Mickey. Number 13, Red Skull. Number 12, Francis Angel Deadpool. <laughs> number 11, uh, Ultron Ultron. Number 10, Hydra Cap colon we uh, number nine striker number eight baconator first class number seven ego guardians two number six hell slash grand mass thor rag number five loki avengers number four bacon guy civil war number three mbj and bp number two the vulture number one thanos in aiw where are we putting pierce andy cortez i put this number 12 underneath who's that who's 11 underneath francis from deadpool no, no, no. no. Above, then it was above. the then it was the other oh, way. Right. Okay. Sorry. So you want it under under Ultron? Under Ultron. I'd yeah, say. You don't need, who's the villain? First of all, Pierce. Pierce. Just Pierce. 
I'd say it's Pierce, alkali transigen. Pearson, that's yeah. what I would say. So Pierce alkali with X24. Mm-hmm. Mm. And okay. the old man, the scientist. Mm-hmm. You know, the uh, doctor, the doctor. I, I feel like I understood the doctor. I didn't. Even, I, didn't even I guess I'm more just. Hate. I'm more thinking of the. Per- I'm thinking of the performance <laughs> from uh from James Spader. Oh, like that's why I have him. Like, and it's not really a huge gulf. I can go either way with this, Greg. Hey man, you're I, the think other, I think he's a top ten. I think he's a top, top ten ragu baggy. Top tenner. And so that's like maybe just knock out, knock Hydra down, um, put him I'd behind put striker. Him above striker, above striker. Yeah. So you want to put him at number nine? Yeah. All right, there you go. Right now, then we're at, at, uh, right now number eight, Baconator in first class. Number nine is going to be Pierce uh, and Logan uh, X twenty four. Well, they're, they're all the, everything's the covered. Uh, and then striker, striker is number ten. So there you go. Ragu Bagu Vids. If you want to run the Ragu Bagu Vids Twitter account, go to patreon.com slash kind of funny for 69 cool dollars. You can tweet whatever you want as long as Joey Noel approves it. And now she'll approve anything. To rank the X Men Cinematic Universe currently. Number one, X Men Days of Future Past. Number two, Deadpool. Number three, The Wolverine. Number four, X Men First Class. Number five, X2. Number six, X Men Apocalypse. Number seven, X Men The Last Stand. Number eight, X Men. And number nine, X Men Origins. Wolverine. Number one. Number one. Number one. Hands yeah. down, no number question. one. What a great movie. By now large, make it interesting. Mar- wide margin, yeah. And throw up the MCU. Let's throw up that fucking Cool, Greg. MCU. You got the MCU graphic ready to go? I can go get it for him. Oh, we didn't do this ahead of time? No. I thought you were joking when you said that. Do I, I ever fucking joke on any of these shows? I never joke. Oh, I never joke. I, never I, joke. I will say Mango. that uh, for, for my ranking, I voted Deadpool being higher than, than Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. And after watching Deadpool, I was like, I wonder if I'm going to like this movie better than Logan. And I wonder if I'm going to rank it higher than Logan. Because mm-hmm. I like Deadpool more the second time than I did the first. And I I thought that I was going to like like Logan less. Sure. No? no. Yeah, Logan's, not. Logan's, Logan's a so much good better. movie. Logan is, so much more beautiful. Undoubtedly, yeah. like, the number one in my, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, ranking the MCU. Now, this only happened Logan, once before. We Logan thought fits. one movie was good enough to come over here and be ranked. Which was Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah, we brought Deadpool, Deadpool over from XCU and review and put, put it that? over here. Oh, wait, I thought Deadpool, we, it was Days of Future Past. Days of Future Past. Was it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my apologies. Deadpool, my apologies. Deserves deserves it we yeah. put it underneath uh, Doctor Strange, right, I believe, right, right. above Ant Man. So the number twelve spot, we we decided that it's Ant Man, Ant Man Two. Right. Yeah, both right. of the Ant Mans are number twelve because I haven't updated the flyer. So oh, yeah, shit. this was for sake argument, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're not going to read all the MCU no. rankings because this is it got way too confusing. Um, but just trying to figure out where Logan fits mm-hmm. here. I mean, so like you're looking at it right here. Personally, I would toss this in Logan at number five. Same here. I agree. Right yeah, yeah. I agree. 100%. So then it would be my. I mean, yeah. for me, voting it goes one: Infinity War, two: Spider-Man, three: Captain America: Civil War, four: Thor: Ragnarok, five: Logan, six: Captain America: Winter Soldier, uh, seven: Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, and so on. See, it's so hard because you're. It's such an. I hate to use the term, but apples to oranges comparison, right? Mm. This is just such a different movie than all these. Very, very. Like, I could literally True. argue that True. this goes number one. Uh, of course, I can't. No, I could, yeah, I can't, I I could argue it just because of the emotional impact, the fact that I the fucking weight, cry the every single time I that was she take it's so obvious but she takes the fucking cross and turns it and I didn't see it happening in the theater and I fucking started crying I, I thought she, that was boom, really like done. fan service bye bye. of course it was yeah and it was totally hard to on your heartstrings but it, it totally got me right of X-Men XCU all those, no all, all the amazing like this is just a really nuanced movie that I just don't think you find in MCU but I it's also not as it, fucking though. amazing accomplishment as Avengers Infinity War or mm, as yeah. great a superhero movie as Spider-Man or you know as I could argue that it would go anywhere in the top five. I love, love, love Logan, but I feel like the nuance that Logan has, it might have more than than these movies, but these movies all have it. Mm-hmm. These movies have it plus the action, plus the blockbuster, plus the comedy. Comedy. Yeah. And it's like what you said earlier about Deadpool, like the apocalypse or first class movies and Logan. I feel like every MCU movie, for the most part, does a very good job of, mm-hmm. of those things. Yeah, I don't know. I... I like this I movie. I like where you're, you're placing it, though. This this number five. Mm-hmm. I'm debating about Winter Soldier, though, because I do feel like they are, are similar in the sense that they are serious movies. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like they Winter Soldier had a similarly complex story. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I like this I, movie I think, better than Homecoming. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah, I guess for I, me, I guess it has to boil down to is like, is it a better superhero movie than some of these, or is it a better movie than some of these? You know what I mean? Because as a movie, as a standalone, if you were like. We're just gonna compare this movie to other movies. I think it's I think it's a much better, well made, way more impactful movie. Period. Well, that's why I put it here. Having said that, as a blockbuster, like taking into account 
hey, mm. there's got to be some action. There's got to be some some excitement. There's got to be cool characters. There's got to be all this other stuff they have to build into this universe. That's a different. Those are different criteria. That's why it reminded me of of the Dark Knight and Black Panther. It's exactly like the Dark because Knight. it just feels like it's it's they they were trying to do something a lot more than just. Super let's show the yeah. let's show these uh, comic book heroes do their their fancy things and then make a little one liner afterwards. You know, that's what I'm saying. It like, felt more important depending you know? on what criteria you're yeah. judging on. Because the Dark Knight's not a great superhero movie. It's just not. It's, it's a great I, movie. My argument there would be like I feel like and I need to rewatch Dark Knight eventually. Maybe we'll do that. But we better. from how I remember it now, we better. I think the moment that you add Logan to Dark Knight, I think Dark Knight is miles ahead. Mm. I feel like Logan in this. It does stand alone, and it is a really good movie, and it's like it doesn't necessarily need to be a superhero thing. But I feel like then when you start comparing it to just other movies, it's it's really good, but it's not like this mind blowing thing. And I feel like we'll, a lot we'll of we'll have to see, we'll, uh, have, we'll, to see. we'll have to see. But I feel like a lot of the uh, the importance that this movie has, a lot of things that I loved and seeing Patrick Stewart and like seeing these characters, it's like it is because we had nostalgia, nostalgia right? for yeah. it, and we had a lot of stuff. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know if if we had no touchstones to Logan or. And like to Hugh Jackman. Yeah, but whatever. that argument can be made for all of the movies in the top five list right now. Well, like, like Thor, like Thor Ragnarok's funny, but is it as funny if we don't know all the other characters that are fucking happening? Fucking hilarious. In there? Yeah, I mean, is Avengers Infinity War going to be impactful if they just drop all those characters on you? You're right, but my argument is even knowing that stuff, I don't think it ranks as high. Like I think like like with with that, like with the history. Oh, got it. Even with the history of the X Men universe and the history of Hugh Jackman, I still don't think it reaches up there. Mm. Um, Great movie, man. Good, very good, good movie. Movie. Finally, oh, nice five. Five? five? It passes. There you go. <laughs> five on the X Men list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Kind of Funny's XCU in review. We're going to continue next week uh, with the final X Men movie, Deadpool 2, so far. We'll see where, where it goes from there. We might get Dark Phoenix. Uh, we might, might get, get Dark Phoenix. Really we might get New We'll see what the fuck happens. Do we really happens. Ra- oh, yeah. We're not. I don't think we're getting New Mutants. I think it's gone. I think we might get Dark Phoenix. Isn't, yeah. isn't Dark Phoenix shot already? So is New Mutants. So is New Mutants. My apologies. Yeah. My but apologies. then they went back and had yeah. to reshoot a bunch of shit. Bunch so. of shit. Yeah. I, I remember the hope that the, you know when they were doing reshoots for Dark Phoenix was that they were leaving the door open for reshoots to. That somehow. was an April Fool's joke. Uh, yeah. so, we'll see. The whole MCU uh, Fox merger thing or acquisition is is so complicated. I believe it's finalized, and, right? So it's finalized. Yeah. They got approval last Friday that mm-hmm. they that the deal's going through. But now there's a the next thing that's holding it back <laughs> is there's this European. Network called Sky. Um, oh, I that heard about this. I'm going to get some of these numbers wrong, but it's something like right now Fox owns like 31, percent but they are in the process of making a bid for the rest of it to have 100 percent of it. And Disney's like pussyfooting around whether or not it wants to commit with that line of bidding. So mm-hmm. that's the thing holding this all up. It's fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Just fucking get it done. Interesting. I thought it was all tied up. They're going to get that. Mm-hmm. Have an excellent day. What's up, guys? Welcome to Kind of Funny's XCU in review. That's right. We no, hold on. Ranking. I feel like I fucked up your intro because yeah, yeah. I was doing the ring of ding thing. We, we, we fucked up the outro last time. Let's get the intro right this time right. for Cool okay. Greg. One more time. Cool Greg. Cool Greg. Point, point, this is the at the end. Mm-hmm. I appreciate Cool Greg's pointed feedback. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hey I don't want to sound like a dick, but y'all fucking suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about <laughs> you stop sucking? Quote what Cool Greg said. Ring a ding ding team. What's up, guys? Welcome. No, you stop it. I thought we were still the outro bit. Do it for real.